Leifert Kusuda currently top of the Bundesliga ahead of Bayern. And not long ago, Bayern got smashed 5-1 to Frankfurt. So manager Thomas Tuchel has been sacked and Bayern have appointed new manager HRS. And the Bayern board have given me this contract where I have two seasons to win the Champions League and each year I have to win the league else I'm sacked. The board have given me 132 million euros to spend. But guys, we have a few rules. In the summer window, we can make a maximum of two signings. And in the January window, just the one. It looks like Tuchel had Bayern playing a 4-2-3-1 with Harry Kane up front. Guys, this crew mode is going to be so fun with Harry Kane. This guy is wild class, and I personally think he's as good as Haaland. At Jamal Marziala, we've signed this guy already in the Spurs crew mode, I think. He's going to be such a fun player to use. 20 years young, he's 86 overall with crazy potential. But as always, I feel this formation would work a lot better. The 4-3-3 with a cam. So we have Kimmich at CDM, Goreska at center mid, the same back. Line and the same front line. Sane, this guy's on fire in real life. He's playing really well. And another incredible player on the bench is Tell. This guy we have signed, but we need to make sure we give him game time because he has incredible potential. Just realized we actually have Delict in the side, so we definitely need to play him. But one position where I feel we could actually sell a player is Mazari because, of course, in the Liverpool series, we did actually sign him. And Bear Leverkusen are absolutely smashing it. And I feel we need to weaken them. Like Bayern do, we could go in for Fringpong from Leverkusen. He'd cost a lot though. 64 to 80 million. But look, he's 22, 84 overall. This guy would be amazing as a right wing back. I've just noticed he can't actually play right back. And as always, you guys are going to suggest players like Hakimi from PSG. 60 to 76. So he wouldn't cost as much as a right back. To be fair, we could maybe be getting a better player. Before we sell anyone or buy anyone, it's probably best we meet a few of the players. The captain of the club, Manuel Neuer, comes to speak to me and he says, boss, boss, Welcome to Bayern Munich. It's great to have you here. Bayern, the last couple of seasons, have been struggling in the league. Things just haven't felt the same. So we hope you can come in and really stabilize things and get us back to the top competing for the biggest trophies. No, I thank you for the welcome. It feels great to be here. I feel very privileged to have this opportunity. And I understand I have a lot of pressure on me to return this club back to the top. And I definitely have the confidence that we can do it. And the next player I meet with is Harry Kane. He says, welcome to Bayern, boss. It's great to have another Englishman here. I appreciate that, Harry. And that's one of the reasons Bayern actually appointed me, is so I can get the best out of you. And perhaps we could learn German together. Now, the four big signings Bayern made in the summer are Harry Kane, Kim and Jay, Lima, and Guerrero. Once again, I don't know how to say this guy's name, so you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments. But in the past, we've actually signed him and converted him to a center mid, and he goes up a lot in raiding. It would take 44 weeks to make him a center mid. But guys, to make him a cap, it would take four weeks. Don't know how much in overall he would would go up to center board as well he has very good stats for a player in that position you guys are gonna have to comment and let me know if it's worth it we do play a cam obviously mercy alice the starter we have thomas muller there's no way we can ever sell this guy he's an absolute legend but if he goes up a lot in overall then it would make sense but we'd also have to sign a new left back i know this is a big shout and we probably wouldn't be able to sign him but a player like vinicius jr would be massive we can't even afford him for one 200 to 250 million i mean he is incredible, but we, we can't spend money like that. I feel Coleman could probably be moved on. I feel we need that proper out-and-out world-class winger. Maybe Rafael Leal, but we don't have the budget to buy it. We have 123 million, and I feel we need a new right back, possibly a backup center mid, and maybe the left winger, but we would be selling Coleman, and we would be selling Mazawi, so it could be possible. We have an offer from Al Halal for Chopa Motin, 7 million. I'm just going to accept it. There's no way he plays. We also have a deal for Mazawi. They're trying to offer us a player. I don't actually know who came in for him. He's valued at 37 million. Okay, can we try get 45 for him? That would be very good to be fair. And they say yes. The team who came in for him is Napoli. So I meet to talk with Mazawi, say, Mazawi, just a heads up. I've accepted a transfer offer from Napoli for you. They agreed to 45 million. Are you willing to negotiate with them and leave? Boss, this is a big shock. Why on earth have you accepted an offer for me? But you see, right back is a position where I feel we could strengthen and sign a new player. And Napoli paid the fee that we wanted for you. Well, I guess if I'm not wanted here and you can't guarantee me play time, then I'll leave. Oh, but we have another offer for him. This one, he would definitely prefer. Spurs come in with 48 million, but we count a 52. And they say yes. So Chopa Motin is officially off to Cadiz now. Okay, not Al Halal. So Mazawi is officially leaving the club. The question is, who has he chosen to join? Please be Spurs. They offered seven more million. Yes, it is. He's going to the Premier League Spurs. So we now need a 
right back. Jeremy Frank Bunt or Hakimi? Let me know in the comments who you think we should sign. Liverpool have offered 96 million for Kimmich absolutely not this guy's one of our best players now, if you guys are outside for this new buying series then smash a like subscribe if you haven't already but episode two tomorrow will be out on more hrs go down to the pin comment or the description click the link go subscribe to that channel so we haven't yet chosen our tactical vision what do we use wing play i mean we do have a few good wingers and if we make a big signing on the left then that could work well tiki taka gagan pressing part the bus okay yeah we won't be doing any of that i think wing play actually will work quite well now our opening game of the season is in the Super Cup versus Leipzig. And of course, Leipzig, they're a great side. Really good players. Lima is the player playing at right back right now. And to be fair, he has decent stats to play there. He is one of the positions he can play. Anyway, it's not like we can actually bring anyone else in. So he'll have to play that. So our first game as Bayern manager playing with these players. That is a foul. Come on. He definitely needs to be bucked for that. Salo's not having any of it. But I haven't actually changed any of the tactics so far. So everything's default. So I need to change that. I'm wondering what Kane's going to be doing. That's a nice pass. We can get that out wide. Now back into the box. Hit that first time. What a start. Jamal Masiala makes it 1-0. That is an amazing start. I was lucky to find the ball in the box for Kane. And it comes to Masiala. And he's hit that so well. Passed it in the net. Well, now here come Leipzig. They want to get themselves back level. They could do nope. here. What a save, Neuer. Be fair, Neuer's one of the players, which is getting a bit old. He's 87 overall. Maybe we could move him on. But there's too many more important players. And as you can see, it's very capable. Probably the greatest goalkeeper of all time we've got that headed away oh no oh that's a great bit of play by Werner there he's made the pass oh Kim and Jay Lima here he is coming forward this is where Fringpong would be he's in the box he doesn't have the pace to continue that is where Fringpong would be so good nice header Mussi Allen okay he's making another run over the top Harry Kane takes it down that's a very good touch oh right, Xavi Simons now nice pass there Nice tackle to elect. Yeah, we have a very, very good defense. Well, here's Werner for Leipzig. That's the goal back. It's the equalizer. Timo Werner. He hits the target. That's the breaking news. It's a goal, Leipzig. Here's Zane on the ball. Oh, beautiful dribbling. Fantastic control. Kane's making the run. Play it to his feet. Oh, the tackle from Leipzig. They have a free kick here. I don't know why they have a free kick here. That was not a foul. I'm going to put someone on the line. They could really score this. Oh! He's hit that well. But Manuel Neuer makes the save. No, another save. Rebound is posted in. There's no way. Leipzig really could win this. They're playing well. Ball whipped in. We do not deal with it well. And then posting in. No, that's just not very good, is it? This would have been a great way to start off this series by winning a trophy. We scored such an early goal as well. Here's Coleman to the byline. Make a pass. Harry Kane. There we go. There's the equalizer. We just need to use the width as our playstyle is wing play and get it into Kane just like that. That is fantastic from Coleman. He's trying to keep his place. He, he probably knows we're looking for a new left winger. Oh, that's a long shot there. That is unbelievable. That's probably going to win them the game. How on earth has that gone in? Danny Olmo has really struck that there. Outside the box. What a goal. What a goal. Look at that. Keeper. Could have got a hand to it, but he just hit it so hard. So one last counterattack. That's it. No, it's gone. We can't even do that. Leipzig win the Super Cup. I don't know if Bayern actually won this in real life. That would have been Kane's first trophy, right? Well, it would have been in this. And we've gone and bottled it. Leipzig lift the trophy congratulations to them not the way we want to start off the season is it oh look at this inner milan coming for coleman offering 61 million okay this is interesting i'm gonna ask for 75 they're gonna have to pay a lot to get him off us and they only say 61 i don't think you guys are gonna like the idea of us selling him what about 73 i will not go lower than 70 that that's the thing the 71 they're probably gonna walk out yep they say no i never play we could sign on the the left but he is 31 he's like the same overall we could reunite kane and son but it just really wouldn't make sense would it and we've used son before man united over 132 million for jamal Musiala. absolutely not now we go to speak with jeremy Frinkpong's agent to inquire about signing him i say we're interested in signing jeremy to buy him we just want to know how much he'd want per week his agent replies then he's currently on 63k a week and if he joins Bayern, he'd want 120 oh wow that is almost double but that is a deal 
deal we could get done. And it looks like it probably will be a deal we get done because look, Hakimi has gone and signed for Manchester City. That is a very good signing. And that's because Carl Walker has signed for Villa. I tell you what, a player we haven't yet signed is Cavarati Skilly. They want 136 to 170 million. These players are so expensive. We now have the opening game of the Bundesliga. We lost the Super Cup. There's no way we're losing this. We play Werder Bremen away from home. And if we do drop points, then it's rather realistic, isn't it? We're in a massive crisis. Oh, no. Big chance here. Oh, wow. We're 1-0 down. Under six minutes, we are 1-0 down to Werder Bremen. And there's some horn going off in the background. Okay, the Bundesliga really has it all going on, don't they? This is nice run, Davies. Now a ball out wide. Someone's getting back post. Can we whip that in? Are they even going to get on it? Okay, they clear it away. We can win the header, though, surely. Not even that. Is this scrimo going to go the same way as it is for buying IRL? Because we have two years to win the Champions League, and this does not look good so far. Here's Kimmich on the ball. Can bring that back. Find Goretzka out wide to Lima. Nice pass there to Goretzka. Tackled. Okay. Werner Bremen are up for this one. Oh, no. Look at this. Look at this. What a save. That could have been 2-0. Oh, no. Oh, that should have been 2-0. What a sitter that was. How will we be playing like this? Here comes Lima, the right back. There's a pass there for Musiala. That's a run there in behind. Big chance. Davies. Boom. That's the equalizer. Bayern back in it. It's 1-1. Alfonso with the goal. Let's go ahead. Kane make the run. Ball over the top. Comes to Kane. Headers it down. Musiala. Oh, yes, it's 2-1. Keeper doesn't even die. What a response. Come on, let's go demolish them now. That's a fantastic header there from Kane. The assist was amazing. And that finish, the keeper didn't even dive. Oh, that's a nice turn there, Goretzka. Can we play it to Kane? He's offside. That would have been three. Oh, look at that turn from Coma. Yeah, this guy is capable. I think we could make a flashy signing in this position. Yeah, that's a nice dribble. The pass wasn't there. It's Lima. Ball in behind for Goretzka. Okay, he's got the pace. Seems to be doing well. Back post. We can get a ball. How's he a touch? Coma! There we go. It's 3-1. We're playing good football now. Coma's first of the season. That was a beautiful assist into the box. Oh no, we've got these really long-winded replays like La Liga. Such a terrible start to this game. And now we could get a fourth. Harry Kane hasn't scored yet though. He's got an assist. Here comes Musiala. Should be a goal. There's the fourth. Jamal Musiala. Fantastic finish. Here's Sané. Nice fan. Harry Kane. Maybe a fifth goal. I mean, Kane's build-up play. So good. He could score here. Harry Kane. Oh, I should have shot earlier. Now Gnabry is on the pitch. Made, we made some subs. Thomas Muller's on the pitch as well. Now Kane. Back out. Gnabry to the byline. Here he is. Makes a pass. It's Kane! Oh, a block. Okay, short from the corner. Get up, right? Whip this in. Kane's in the box. Here he is. Kane with the header. What a save. But that is full time. We don't even get to take the corner. It's a 4 1 win. Now, every time we've signed Rodrigo, he's signed for Man City. Are you having a laugh? Every time we've signed him, we've played him on the right hand side, which really should be on the left because he is right footed. The Man City have signed him. They always seem to sign him. We do have a very, very good side, a very capable side, but I just don't feel this is a Champions League winning side. Yes, we need a right back. Surely there are a few more positions. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking. We now have our next game, the second game of the season. This is one good looking changing room. And the side we're playing is Augsburg. Augsburg? I don't know how to say the name. Our first game at home as well. Oh, this is an early chance for nope. them. What a save. Let's not have another bad start. We don't want to be doing that. They whip a corner in here. Get that away. They win the header. That's a nice save, Neuer. Here comes Goreska now. Nice control. Oh, gets that there for Muziala. What a tackle. That's a nice header. Kim and Jay. What a signing he was. Is K now on the ball? Onto that right foot from range. Goes to hit it. Comes to Goretzka. Wide of goal. Is Kane past one? He doesn't need support here. Look, they say slow. It's not. Harry Kane, one now. That's his first goal in the Bundesliga. That is fantastic. Mr. Harry Kane. How many goals will he score this season? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to say 35 plus. He's going to score so many. Roman's making a good run, to be fair. We'll go out wide to him. Now go at your box. Hit that first time. What a save. What a tackle. What a mistake there at the back. It's Masiala. <laughs> Chips the keeper. Oh, what a goal. That is unbelievable. That'll be Fuming about that. This kid is unbelievable. He tackles 
kills the defender and then has the audacity to chip the, the center back and the goalkeeper, basically. It's a nice interception. Still not gone. Kim Min Jae's there to the rescue, though. There is Kane running out the back. He's got no options. Oh, look at him. He's kind of beat the defender. It was a bit lucky. Can we get it onto that right? Harry Kane. Oh, he's got lucky again. It's going to go wide to Coleman. Back to Kane. Kane hits it first time. It's not in the corner. Straight at the keeper. That's a nice header. Go on, Kane. Make the run. We want him to score more goals. Over the top. Keeper comes out. Kane chipped. Oh, what was that? What on earth was that? Oh, that's a brilliant ball. Look at that. What a block. If we get a clean sheet here, that'd be very well deserved because we've played so well defensively. Look at this from Coman. He's going to switch it as well. Nah, okay, that wasn't very good. Go on. Another defensive masterclass. Hell, oh, they've missed it. That's their best chance. And that is game. A 2-0 win. Three massive points. But we get that clean sheet. Neuer has now gone down to 86 overall. His 37. I can't imagine you guys are going to put a lot of comments suggesting get a new goalkeeper. Maybe we do in season two, but for season one, I feel we have way more important players to sign. Like a right back, we need to sign one of those. A backup center mid, and maybe a left winger if we sell Coleman. Let me know all your suggestions down below. Don't forget, episode two will be on more HRS, my second channel, in the pinned comment and the description. If you guys, enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. If you guys want to see a Chelsea career mode, then click here in the pinned comment and the description. If you guys, enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. If you guys want to see a Chelsea career Career mode, then click here. Bayern Munich hired me as their new manager to replace Thomas Tuchel with the goal to return them back to the top. I have this two-year contract where to keep my job, I need to win the league every season and eventually, of course, win that Champions League. So far, we've had one transfer happen. That was Mazawi leaving to Spurs for 52 million, which means we now have 193 million to spend. But don't forget, guys, we have transfer rules. We can only make two signings in the summer and one in the January. And as Mazawi left the club, we need need a new right back. That is for sure. I also feel we could do with a backup center mid because Lime is the backup CDM, Muller's the backup Cam, and this 59 rated player is the only other center mid we have. And I also did mention perhaps selling a Coman and going in for a player like Vinny Jr. But he'd cost so much money between 200 and 250 million. The same with Raphael Leal, but with him, we could actually afford him and buy a right back. The two main right backs we we're looking at was Hakimi, but we can't sign him because he's just signed for Man City. And the other was Jeremy Fringpong. He can't play right back, but he can play right wing back, which is basically the same thing. If you take a look at his stats, he has 75 defending, so he definitely have to get better with that. But you guys really like this suggestion. Buy and sign a lot of players from other Bundesliga clubs that are doing well. He costs between 70 and 85. 4 million. Last episode, we actually inquired about him to his agent, and he said that he'd want 120k a week. So we could definitely afford to sign it. Our first game of the season was against Leipzig, an opportunity in the Super Cup to win a trophy. But unfortunately, they beat us 3-2 and went on to lift the trophy. Then we had Werder Bremen for the first game of the season, and we went 1-0 down straight away. But we ended up winning the game 4-1. And the second game in the Bundesliga, we also won 2-0. As you guys can see, it's currently transfer deadline day. We have 10 hours left and we need to make two signings. So we better move quick and I feel Frank Pong is the signing to make. We, we need a right back and this player would be incredible. So let's go in and try and get a good deal. They're gonna try and get a lot of money out of us, I know. But if we test the waters with 71 million, they want 74.4. Okay, so we can definitely do this. If I say 71 and a half with a 10% silent clause, we don't want to sell him. And they say yes. So important first team player. Can he do a five year deal? Yes, he's interested in that. No release clause, but when it comes to the wages, as his agent said, he wants 120k a week, and of course he says yes. So our new number five, our first signing of this series, and he's one of the most recommended players on the channel, is Jeremy Fringpong. And of course, as we always do with a new signing, we have a conversation with Jeremy. He says, boss, thank you so much for signing me. It's a pleasure to be here at Bayern, one of the biggest clubs in the world. I can't wait to see what we can achieve together. Jeremy, welcome to Bayern. As soon as I got the job, I had my eyes on and signing you. You weren't cheap at 71 million, but you're definitely worth it. And boom, just like that, he is in the side. But we're going to have to make a slight change. We're going to have to move him to a right wing back. I feel number 12 would be better for a right back, to be fair. And we have put a defensive wing back on him to improve that defending. It's now up to 76, but we want it to be in the 80s. Center mid suggestion, which would be good, is this Emery from PSG. He has 90 potential. Can we sign him, though? We can't because he's on loan. That is so annoying. 
annoying. If we want to keep going down the road as signing other Bundesliga players, then we've got this Nicholas Seawild, have you say his name? That's a good 84 potential, so could be a good signing. But as it's only a two-season career mode, I feel someone like this would be a very good signing. 29, 83 overall, but 42 to 53 million. I thought he'd be a lot less than that. If you take a look at his stats, this guy's very versatile. Can pretty much play anywhere in the midfield, but I don't really want to pay 45 million for a 29-year-old bench player. You're probably thinking, why don't you take this left-back Guerrero and convert him to a center mid? The problem is it would take 26 weeks and then we wouldn't actually have a backup left-back. I did mention this last episode. We could move him to a cam or a center forward, which would take a month and he'd probably go up in rating quite a lot. But I feel we should make a signing like this. Sal from Atletico Madrid, 25 to 30 million, 28, 81 overall. Take a look at his stats. He is pretty good for a central midfielder, box to box. Now, back in the day, I used to sign this guy so much. In FIFA 17, this guy used to have so much potential. Kind of just fell off a bit, didn't he? We're going to offer 27 million, but they want Thomas Muller. Absolutely not. We will not be selling him. 1 million more, 28, they should say yes. 29, but fair enough, we'll pay that. So it looks like this will be our second signing of the series rotation. He says yes, a three-year deal. That's fine by me. No release clause, an 80K to sit on the bench and play now and then. He says yes. So from Atletico Madrid to Bayern Munich, I'm pretty sure in 2017, Bayern had Atleti in their group. Here's our second signing on the bench. He can actually play left back as well, by the way. So for January, we're left with 84 million. I don't really see us signing a new left winger in January, but we could sell Coleman and bring a big player. That's more of the type of signing we make at the start of the season. But for now, the window is shut until January, which will be open next episode. So get all your suggestions down below. And by the way, this is on my second channel. So if you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe and leave a like. We now have Munch and Gladbach away and we drop points. It's a 2-2 draw. Harry Kane and Muziala. Now guys, that Champions League group is actually really interesting. We have Man United, Copenhagen and Galatasaray. In a couple of games time, we actually have Man United. But before that, we have our biggest game of the season. It's Bayer Leverkusen, the team who I are out are top of the league undefeated. And if we want to be winning the Bundesliga, which we have to, else we get sacked, then games like this, we have to be winning. And here's a counter-attack here for Leverkusen. Ball whipped in. They win the header. Nice save, Neuer. That is not the start we want. Right, here's Zane on the ball. Oh, look at that. Look at the pace. This is a fantastic run. Zane, can he go all the way? Gonna smash. Hey, that's the first goal. It's Zane for Bayern. He did it all on his own. And that is a fantastic strike. But Leverkusen certainly have the quality to get themselves back in it. Ooh, they should have definitely hit the target there. But we actually have taken one of their best players from them in Jeremy Fringpong. Yeah, this guy is a fantastic signing. Look how quick he is. Ball out wide there for Zane. Kane is not in the position I want him to be in. It's Fringpong. We whip it in. That's a nice Whoa. ball. Keepers on it, though. We can put that over the top there for Kane. He's going to take it down. Here's Kane at 2-0. What a start we've had to this game. Harry Kane gets another goal. And that is exactly what we expect from him. I said he's going to score 35 plus goals this season. And you guys said more in the comments. Oh, here's a big opportunity now. They're in behind. Is he going to chip the keeper? Nope. He just puts it right past Neuer. Leverkusen in behind and they get the goal back. They're back in the game. That is one massive striker, I tell you that. This guy's bigger than Lukaku. Here they come again, though, in the box. Here's that Spanish wonder kid. I'm pretty sure that's a nice save, Neuer. And they're in the box again. Here's their number nine. Hits it. Okay, we really are going to drop points here if we don't pull our finger out. What are we doing? And number nine is actually Callum Wilson, by the way. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. How on earth have we bottled this? I think this title race might be closer than we think this season. This might be awfully realistic. Another corner. They've had so many chances. Here's Grimaldo. Now Wilson. Back hills that. Number 10. Nice tackle there, Delict. We can't pass the ball out, though. What are we doing? This is one of the last opportunities. They go to hit it and they possibly won it. What a bottleage from us. We're 2 0 up, but they've gone and scored three. And they've possibly gone and won this game. That is embarrassing. Can we get this equalizer? One last chance. Oh, look at this. Look at this run. It's Goretzka. He could do it. Goretzka! There we go. We don't lose. We get a point, but this is still not good enough. 
six goal thriller and Goretzka, he saves us at the end. So far this season, Musiala is our top goal scorer with five goals in five with two assists. He's 20 and he's absolutely destroying it right now. Four goals with five for Kane and one assist. Yeah, this guy's only getting started. He's gonna score so many. We now have Man United. First game in the group stage and it is the Champions League. So we will make a few changes here and there. Gnabry's gonna start on the right. He loves playing against an English side. Now what? We'll bring in Sal. We'll play him at centre mid. Upa Meccano playing and they're the only change he's gonna make. We, we don't want to go too weak. Oh, here's an early opportunity. Rashford on the ball. Oh, he hits it. Oh, my goodness. How on earth has that gone in? That is a dreadful goal to concede. He's hardly put any power behind it. The keeper, why is he not saving that? We won no down. To be fair, that United kit is actually quite nice. Oh, look at that from Frank Pong. Oh, he's just sat Ericsson down there. Can he go all the way? Look at this run. Look at Frank Pong go. Oh, it's like Gonzalo. What a save. Kane on the ball. He's played a lot against United and scored not very many goals versus United. It's Martiala. Dinks the keeper. Nope. Dreadful. I should have just finished it. Oh, what a tackle. Well, That's like a, a skill tackle there from Upa Mikado. Kane's through. Surely the goal. Harry Kane chips the keeper. Oh, it's just embarrassing. Uh, like, what am I doing? Onana just needs to go down. Here's Sal on the ball. Now through the gap. United's defense is so bad. Ball back post. Messi Allah. What a clearance, Wambasaka. The United's defense is really struggling. Is Alfonso Davies coming forward? This is a nice chance. There he is. Alfonso. Can he finish it? What a save. Get it back in. Kane. Oh, another block. Oh, no. What have we done? What a massive mistake. Correa. Oh, it's 2 0 United. What a dreadful start to this game. He's gone to hug Ten Hag right at the start of the second half. We give the ball to United. And of course that was going to happen. That's a nice pass there to Musiala. We need to get back in it now. Pass that to Coman. Coman to finish it. What a save. Onana's having an amazing game. Rashford, he seems to be in a more central position. Oh, that could have been 3 0. Oh, this is embarrassing, man. We're just getting smacked up by United. Is Rashford now Correa? Oh, no, that's 3 0. What a save, Neuer. Okay, Coman's off. Tell is on. And I can already tell it's going to do well. Rashford hits it. Is it the post? United. This is like a complete different United here. Is Gnabry. He finds. Kane. This should be a goal back here for Bayern. We may still be able to get a point. Harry Kane. Composure. He's never missing that. We get a goal back. Harry Kane. His first goal in this Champions League campaign. Bayern Munich have some hope. Rashford here. United, they want that two-goal cushion again. Ball out wide. Luke Shaw. This guy. How good was he in the Villa career mode? Now Ericsson. Nope. Oh, come on. What a tackle. Corner. Come on. We've got minutes left. Whip it in. We need to get this ball away like that. Yes, this could be it. This could be it. Here's Gnabry. What a chance. What an opportunity. This could be it. This could be the equalizer. Gnabry. Tight angle. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed it. Oh, he's bottled it. It's full time. And that is a win, Man United. Back to the Bundesliga. A 3-1 win. There we go. Spring Pong scoring. Harry Kane. And Harry Kane again. Now, the DFB Pokal could be a competition that we actually win. We're going to fully rotate here or rotate as much as we can. And we get a 2-0 win. Musiala and Coma. So after five games, we are fourth place in the Bundesliga on 11 points. Four points behind Frankfurt, who are top of the league. So we're now playing Leipzig away in the league. This is a game that we should be winning. Do we make any changes? Well, Coleman is slightly tired, but Gnabry, Tell are also tired, so we can't even rotate here. Is Musiala coming forward? Oh, we could go all the way. Look at all this space. Go look for Kane. Kane, tap in. 1-0. What a goal. He's going to score so many of those this season. Leipzig, of course, were the side we played first in the Super Cup, and we lost it. We need to be careful of them here. Here's Olmo. This guy actually won the game for them. Oh, what a chance. What a goal. Timo Werner gets the equalizer. Leipzig level. And Leipzig could go ahead here. Look at this. Upenda from the pen. Oh, he goes top right. I did go to the right, but not good enough to stop it. 2-1 Leipzig. Oh, but now it's Harry Kane. This guy is not missing this. Harry Kane. What? Are you kidding me? I went to the left. I swear there's a glitch in this game. If you aim left, 
from a pen. It just goes down the middle. That's a ball whipped in. Go on, head it out away. Oh, what a block. But not good enough. We lose 2-1 in the league to Leipzig. We're now back to the Champions League. Copenhagen here. And I'm pretty sure Thomas Muller really wants to start. As he's saying, he has been playing well recently. Do we make any other changes? We'll bring in Lima and Guario at left back. Come on, this has to be the first win in the group stage. A 2-0 win. Kim Min Jae and Lima. That Barcelona come in for Muller. Lewandowski has probably put in a good word for him. I mean, he doesn't have to. Everyone knows how good he is. But he's now 34. Why are they doing that? We'll say no. He wouldn't want to leave anyway. We can't be dropping any more points in the league. We do. We get a 2-2 draw. What are we doing? Hayne of Fringpong and Lima with an injury. And he's out for six months. Are you kidding me? He's broken his tibia. This now means we don't have a CDM. That is a player that we're probably going to have to sign in January because six months is a very long time. We now have mites away from home and it's a 4-1 win. There we go. Kane with a brace, Sané and Muziala. So we're two games into the group and so far Galatasaray are smashing it. So we need to come in, intervene now and beat them. We can't let them get three wins in a row or even get a draw here. Is Zaha. Is he going to hit that? He's definitely going to hit that. Nice save. Okay. Penn, Harry Kane. I'm going to go to the left this time. And it's actually going to go to the left this time. Wow, top left. That was an incredible pen. Harry Kane makes it 1-0. Here's Goretzka making a nice run. Harry Kane in behind. Here he is. This could be a second goal. Gets away. Oh, what is that? I thought that's been clever. That heavy touch was way too heavy. Here's, here's Kimmich. Now to Harry Kane. This could be a second. Oh, he's hammered it in. Harry Kane, he could have even more than this at this point. In fact, he should have more than two at this point because he's missed a couple of chances. Ball over the top. Go around nope. the keeper. He just wasn't quick enough. And that's it. That's three points. A 2-0 win. Harry Kane with both the goals. Back to the Bundesliga. And it's another draw. Okay, we have a massive problem right now. After nine games, we are sixth place. And we are nine points away from top of the league, Leipzig. That is so many points. The title could already be gone. And that means my job is gone. Now, I bring Mamar Neuer, the captain of the club, to my office. I say, Manuel, we have a massive problem at the club at the moment. We keep dropping points in the league. What is going on? The reply saying, boss, I feel a lot of the players are just lacking motivation at the moment. They don't seem to know what it's about to put that shirt on. I think you need to start dropping some players and in January, maybe bring in a new signing. Well, we now have Leverkusen in the cup. And do you know what? I don't really care how i'm gonna fully rotate let's just get this going if we go out oh well i mean we beat them that's fantastic tell a muller but the league and champions league is the most important thing we now have the classica whatever it's called in germany we have dortmund away the atmosphere here is going to be incredible and we can't really drop anyone because everyone is tired from the last game they have to be up for it we have to be winning this game and if we do i feel that would really help the confidence and get some momentum going perhaps is mercy aller on the ball here come on let's go on a bit off a run through these players. Kane over the top. Let's get the ball to you. Comes back to Muziala. He's Kimmich. Big ball out wide there for Zane. Nice touch. Pulls it back. Here's Harry Kane. Nope. What a tackle. That's a nice ball. Oh, what's a goal for Dortmund. It's Julian Brandt. What are we doing? He's just made a pass out of nowhere like that. Delix just really lost his man there. That is terrible. That is not how we wanted to start this. Here's Harry Kane on the ball. Now Goreska out wide for Zane. Now to Harry Kane. Nice control. Back out for Zane there. Go look. Make another pass. Masiala! That's the equalizer. There we go. A quick response. The response we needed. Beautiful play. To be fair, we need to do some instructions. I still haven't done anything. Comes Goretzka. That's a run, Kane. Ball over the top. Hit it first time. No, he went with his head. I should have taken a touch. I need to get better with, with using Harry Kane. Like this. He seems to be good when we play the ball in the air. Make sure he's on nope. side. Okay, they header that away. If we win that header, Maziala, get on it. Goraska, get on this. Okay, here's Zane. Kane make the run. There we go, over the top. Oh, defender just body blocks him. Here they are again. They're number nine. Oh, what a save. What a save. Adiemi nearly making it 2 1 Dortmund there. Maziala comes away here. Okay, he's, he's really got away. Zane making the run. He's on side. He's in behind. Big chance. He is left footed. Zane! That's the goal. 2 1. Bayern in the lead for the first time this game. It's like the first time in about a month with our current form. There's a shot there. What a save. Neuer has been amazing in this series so far. 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What a goal. That's IDM8. So number nine is Makoko. But take a look at this. He has absolutely hit a bullet there past Neuer. Near post. I think defensively, we are actually really, really weak. We concede lots of goals. Is Kane. Someone needs to make a run here. What, what are they doing? Come on, make a run, Coleman. There he is out wide to the byline. Nope. Oh, we've won a corner. This goal has to come. This third has to come. Here we go. Musiala whipped in. Back post. Kim and Jay on target. Rebound on the side netting. Look at this run from Kane. Oh, look at this from Kane. He can do it. He sadly can. Can he finish it? Oh, the wrong side of the post. Come on. Oh, this could be another goal for Dortmund. Nice touch. What a save. We have limited time left now to find this one up. Musiala making a run over the top. That is not the ball we wanted to play. Is Musiala though. Big chance in the box. Going to pass it. Oh, rebound. Yes, we've won it. We've done it. It's three points in the bag. It's Goretzka with the goal. We beat Dortmund at their own ground. Fantastic pass there. I just pressed it. I knew he wasn't going to score from there. So we just had to pass it to someone. And luckily, it comes to Goreska. Fantastic. Is Zane. I mean, referee hasn't blown yet. Zane to hit one. Oh, it's got it. It's a fourth. How on earth has the ref not blown? I need to see a replay of this. So he's, he's trying to be tackled. He goes to hit it. This silly replay, man. Just show the ball going in. I don't need to see it from 60 different angles. I don't think it takes a deflection. I don't look very happy whatsoever. He's sweating. Back to the Champions League now. And it's a 2 0 win. Harry came with the brace. That's his 16th goal in. 17 with three assists. He is doing really well. Okay, let's start climbing the table. Another 2-0 win. Coleman and Zane. Now Cologne away. A 3-1 win. Coleman, Kane, and Gnabry. So after 12 games, we're now third in the league. But guys, we're still nine points off top. Leipzig are just smashing it. They're undefeated. They're doing what Leverkusen are IRL. Never win here would be massive. 2-1. There we go. Kimmich and Kane. We are through to the round of 16. Let's keep this momentum going in the Bundesliga. There we go. 3-1. Kane, Kimmich, and Coleman. As we know, Frankfurt was smashing it at the start of the season. They're now four points behind us. And this is the exact fixture. The IRL Bayern lost 5-1. And if we lose it, I guarantee you, it will not be 5-1. Oh my goodness, it's 1-0. And it's six minutes in. Okay, I'm still saying we're not losing 5-1. Here's another long ball. Okay, nice control. That's the Allen. Kimmich. Nice passing from us. Goretzka. Oh, just hit it. Why not? Oh! So close. Musiala turns his mat. So much space. Here he is. Musiala. That's the oh, that was going. What do you mean? That was going in. Tell me. This was not going in. Look at that. Look at that. This fraudulent game, man. This fraudulent game. That is going in. How can that happen, man? We're now 10 points behind Leipzig. We should have got a point there. We have one game left to play in the group stage. The question is, will Man United qualify? And that is the game we're playing. Can Man United qualify? We're already qualified, so we don't need to worry. So I'm going to rotate slowly. We're going to get Tell on the left, Gnabry on the right. We get Muller in the midfield as well. Get Upa Meccano playing. We'll rest Davies. December manager of the month is HRS. That's interesting. Well, you're about to find out why in the Champions League because we're going to turn up here to Old Trafford and play them off the park. Oh, that's a nice header there. Upa Meccano, who we do actually need to play more, to be fair, as he is going to want to move away. Is Carrera on the ball. That's a nice block. Bruno. Still Bruno. Someone get a foot in, please. Kim and Jay. Nice. Of course, United nearly signed Kim and Jay, but Bayern did instead. Are we going to get this ball? Bruno here. Long shot right into Pumacana. Tell. Look at him. You can tell he's going to be a good player. Ball in behind for Musiala. Now ball in behind for Kane. Now chips the keeper. Unbelievable. Fantastic. Kane scores in Old Trafford for Bayern Munich. Is that the best goal of the series so far? I don't feel we scored many really good goals. I feel they've all been tappings, pretty much. I mean, Zane's earlier, that fourth goal against Dortmund was pretty good. Unless I'm missing one. Let me know in the comments if I have. Here's Anthony. He's world class. He can spin like a fidget spinner. Correa! That's the equalizer. Come on. There is hope for United. They could still qualify. They probably need results to go their way somewhere else. That's a ball 
falling behind there for Tell. He's got the pace. He beats Martinez. Looking for Kane. It comes all the way to Gnabry, who gets the goal. It's 2 1. We're back in the lead. Brilliant play from the young lad, Tell. And that is a fantastic assist. Great goal. Oh, it's Correa. Big chance. Sliding tackle. Oh, it's a pen. Are you kidding me? He got the ball. It's a penalty here. Bruno. Fernandez, I mean. Oh, he scored. What a goal. It's 2-2. And he's knocked himself out. He's ran into the post. We seem to absolutely love conceding loads of goals. This could be another one. It's Correa. Correa. Oh, get out. How on earth have we conceded that? United now in the lead. The goal that really could get them into the round of 16. What are we doing defensively? Oh, it's a nice ball out wide to tell. This guy's been busy out wide with Wambasaka, but so far, Wambasaka has been better. What a tackle. What a tackle. Now we've got Kane. Look at Tal. All that space. Him versus Wambasaka again, though. Oh, he's done well. Is he onside? He's offside. Wambasaka's doing very, very good. He could be the backup right back we sign. Referee is about to blow it. They've won the game. There's nothing we can do. It's past the time. And there we go. Man United get the win. Three points in the bag. I don't know if they qualify, though. The crowd seems to be loving it. There's Ten Hag. Man United did qualify the group for nine points. There were three points behind us. We lost 2-1-4. Despite Galatasaray doing really well, they're in the Europa League. And in the round of 16, we're playing Benfica. Man United playing inner. We now have Stuttgart at home, and it's a 5-1 win. Lots and lots of goals there. And now Wolfsburg away at 2-0 when Goretzka and Zane. Guys, we're now officially in the January window. It's open for 29 days, and we have 84 million euros to spend. Get all your suggestions down below. Let me know who you think we should sign. Enjoy, leave a like, subscribe if you do. What is it? Chelsea Karimo, then click this video here. Bayern Munich hired me as their new manager with the goal to return them back to glory. I have the two-year contract where each season I have to win the league as I lose my job. And of course, the main goal is to eventually win that Champions League. But guys, after 16 games, it is not looking good in the league. We're second spot, six points off top Leipzig. But guys, I don't know if we'll be able to beat Leipzig to their title. We've played them twice this season so far, and we've lost both of them. Some bad news from last episode, Lima Abaka CDM picked up a six-month injury. It's now down to three months, but he's out for a very, very long time. He's 26, 83 overall. It was a broken tibia, by the way. It's really not looking good. But good news is the January window is now open. We have 84 million euros to spend. And for possible players we could bring in is, of course, Caicedo from Chelsea. Wouldn't cost as much as Chelsea paid for him. He starts off around 80 overall, and that's the type of play we'd need as a backup. Some of you guys probably suggesting Camavinga from Real. We could have bought him, but we can't sign him. We've just signed him on the main channel in the Liverpool series. So I think a guy like this, this Arthur Vermeuren, have you say his name, he's played a couple of times against Barca and he's been incredible, but he's just signed for Lille. But I'm wondering, would we be able to sign him? Okay, we can. We can negotiate. I'll take that. How much would he be though? That, that is the question. I'm going to go in with... I don't, want, I don't want them to walk out. So 17 and a half. See what they say. They shouldn't say yes. Please don't say we're overpaying here. Okay, spread it first team play. This guy, by the way, has 87 potential. So this is a very, very good signing. But unfortunately, if we sign him, I don't think Lima will ever be playing again. Unless we convert him to a different position. 20k a week for this guy. And this is our January signing. When Royal Antwerp played Barca, this was the standout player. Of course, the other day, they actually beat Barcelona. Of course, as it's a new signing, I bring him to my office and I say, Arthur, welcome to Bayern Munich. We've been keeping our eye on you for a while and your performances versus Bayern really made us buy you. It's great to be here, boss. I'm so excited to be at one of the biggest clubs in the world. I know this season I won't be starting too much, but when I do, I will prove I can be a replacement to Kimmich one day. 18, 76 overall, an exciting prospect. And he's worth 16 and a half, so we didn't overpay for him at all. That is a very good sign. Of course, we have transfer rules where we can make two signings in the summer, one in the January, and this guy, Arthur Vermeeren, is the January signing. And there he is. He's on the bench. He won't be making his debut here, though, against Hoffenheim. We cannot drop any points, and we get a win. Kane with a brace. He also had a disallowed goal there, which would have been a hat-trick. 23 goals in 26 appearances with five assists as well. Harry Kane this season is on fire, as expected. Now, Werner Bremen, a 3-1 win. Coleman, Kane... Came with a brace again. Now, after 18 games played, we're now one point behind Leipzig. We won.
want to win this title, we just need to keep winning. And of course, beat Leipzig, which we are playing then in a few games time. Masiala in the last five minutes gets the winner here. The DFB Pokal would be an amazing competition to win. Leipzig are still in it, so they're probably the favourites with us. We now have a semi-final against a side that I've just never heard of. We're going to fully rotate. We can't because Lima's injured, which means Arthur is most likely going to make his debut here if he hasn't came on already, which I'm pretty sure he would. I'll come up with a brace. We win. But what was the match rating of our new signing? He got subbed off. It was a 7.1. We'll take that. Of course, last episode, we wrapped up the group stage. We got 12 points. United did qualify on the final day by beating us. But in the round of 16, we find ourselves facing Benfica, which to be fair, no disrespect to Benfica, is a pretty good draw. And with fast approaching the first leg, we get a 2-1 win in the last minute. Zane with the winner versus Mönchengladbach. That is massive. We now have Bayer Leverkusen away. This is the side that are right behind us. No need to make changes. We can play our best side. But as I was saying last episode, if we want to win the league, these are the games we have to be winning. Oh, we've got some snow on the ground. We've got the orange ball out. I want to see a big performance in this game. Here's Musiala coming forward. Nice job. Okay, he's, be he's just been sat down there. Here's Kimmich. Now Goretzka. Nice touch. Ties the man. Yeah, the shot. Oh, what a save. That would have been a fantastic start. There's Palacios for Leverkusen. Wilson, this guy scored against us last time we played them. They beat us in that game, I'm pretty sure. That's a nice tackle. Solid defense like that will win us games, but passing like that will not. Here's Schick on the ball. Goes for a shot. What a goal. It's 1-0 Leverkusen. And that is not the way we wanted to go into this. On his left foot, outside the box, beats Neuer. Not an easy thing to do, but he did it. Where they come again. We are really not playing well, are we, this season? If we do win the league, we would have done so well. What a save. And we have to win the league. Else we don't keep our job next season. And that would just be embarrassing. Here's Musiala. Look at this dribble. Look at him go. Musiala still. Ball out wide for Sanek. Now back to Musiala. Now looking for Kane. Nice touch. Here's Harry Kane. Oh, defender did well. Oh, he's turned back. Oh, it's that right foot. What a save by the keeper. Here's Zane, though. Back to Goretzka. Now looking for Kane. Nice control through the gap. Oh, that could have been a pen. Apparently he got the ball. And that's half time. What a terrible first half. It's not like half bomb in the Champions League was that much better. We lost twice to Man United. Oh, here they come again. Schick on the ball. The scorer. Grimaldo, that's a very good signing. Ball out wide. A shot there. That could have been 2-0. Here's Musiala. Ball behind there for Coman. This should be the equalizer. Looking for Kane. Nice touch. The finish. It's so good. Harry Kane is clinical. It's world class. It's level now. And who else to score but the one and only Harry Kane? Leverkusen have a free kick here. Has anyone ever conceded from this position? I mean, he's gone for the shot. And that was on target. I thought that was going in. Here, Leverkusen come again. They want to find that lead again. What a save. Manuel Neu saves us once again. Roy Keane would say that's his job, but he's done it so much this season. He's one of the best goalkeepers ever. But he's 37 and he's still doing it. It's yeah. Koma. What a save. The rebound wasn't there. Their keeper's done all right, to be fair. Is Goretzka. He's going to hit one from range. That was straight in his face. That, that would have knocked him out, surely. Okay, this is possibly the last counter-attack of the game. It's Schick on the ball is in behind. They've got one other player coming forward. Can they win it? Oh, nope. no. Oh, what a block. That would have been it. It's a corner for Leverkusen. The last opportunity for each side here. Can we defend it? Can they score it? I don't believe it, man. It's Schick again. Oh, no, it's not. It's Verts. Oh, it is Schick. They're going absolutely mad. The manager's amongst the celebrations. That is just dreadful defending, man. We have to win this league title. We're now like four points behind top again. Oh, at least we get a 2-0 win here. Zane and Kane. Yep, after 22 games, Leipzig have won again. They're four points ahead of us. But our next game in the league is actually Leipzig. And if we win, we could go behind them by one point. But it's Champions League time now. We have Benfica, the first leg. And Komen's slightly tired. He's been better than Zane this season. So Gnabry will come in. I'm not going to make any more changes. There's just no need. Please don't go lose this first leg. It is in Benfica. It's a 1-1 draw. Kane with an equalizer in the last 10 minutes. This is probably our biggest game of this season. We really need to prove ourselves. We've played Leipzig, as I've already mentioned, twice this season. We lost both times. 
Now the third turn. And we do have home advantage, which in the first two games, they were the home side. Well, one of them was a cup game, so we can't really count that. But I'm actually interested to see how they play. Olmo, every time we've played them, has been very good. Here's Kane on the ball. Gets that out wide there for Coman. Back to Kane. Nice touch. Harry Kane, what a tackle. By the way, Kane is two goals away to 30. What a run there from Werner. He's got no one to pass to, though. Oh, how's he got that in? There's no way. Is this why they're top? Have they been scoring jammy goals like this the entire season? What on earth? It, it went through his legs. He not make Neuer. That is a very good goal. And we trail instantly. Oh, this could be a goal. Look at this run from Coman. He's beat the defender there. He messed up. Oh, what a save. We have to create better opportunities if we want to get back in the game. But if we definitely want to win this game. Over the top for Kane. On the valley. That's equalizer. We have to create an opportunity just like that. There's not a chance Kane's missing that. Oh, great. We get one of these fancy replays now. Just show it. As I said, this guy's as good as Haaland. May not be as fancy, but numbers-wise, absolutely. Oh, that's a nice tackle there, Goreska. Is Zane on the ball? Fantastic dribbling. He's going to make a pass. We keep it. Come on, keep the pressure up. Here's Kane on the ball. Mercy Allen making the run. Ball over the top. Oh, the funny. Oh, come on. Harry Kane would be burying that. What a chance. Okay, we're starting to pick up some momentum here. Harry Kane, where is he? Looks like Mercy Allen and him have switched positions. Nice play. Fring point out wide. Back to Zane. Now through this gap. Nope. What a tackle there. Let's keep the pressure up, though. Here comes Goreska. Ball in behind there for Kane. Ball out wide there for Zane. Onto that left foot. Now Kane. Nice touch. Finish! It's so good. Harry Kane is unbelievable. What a goal. Zane with the assist. It's a brilliant touch. Sets himself up. And you just knew that was going in. But top corner. As top corner as that with the Travella technique. Oh, Harry Kane. He's just world class. Check that out. Oh, it's Werner in behind. Oh, it's level. Great. We go score that goal with Harry Kane. And it's back level just like that again. Timo Werner. Since when has this guy been able to score goals like this? He gets in behind. And that is not an easy angle to beat Neuer from. Oh, Lysik. Here they come. Werner. He wants a hat trick. Is Rama, if you say his name. Werner. Oh, what a save, Manuel Neuer. Ten minutes to play. It's currently level. Zane. What a run. Now to Harry Kane. Can he finish it? Chips the keeper. That's beautiful. What a goal. Harry Kane is incredible. It's a hat trick for him. And every goal he scored has been just sensational. Look, that little chip probably makes it easier to chip the keeper. I might do that every time, you know. But this could be it. This could be the first time that we beat Leipzig this season. Kane is unbelievable. Look at this out wide. Back to him. Is he just going to hit it from here? Harry Kane goes to hit it. Okay, not an awful attempt. Referee blows it, and that is game. We get our first win in the series versus Leipzig. Finally, and Harry Kane, the hat-trick hero. A boom, just like that, with 11 games to play. Because we only play 34 games in the Bundesliga. We're one point behind Leipzig. With that hat-trick, Harry Kane's now up to 31 goals and 34 appearances. And I say to Harry, you're absolutely smashing it. You've surpassed 30 goals now. You could perhaps even get to 40 this season. Boss, I feel this is possibly the best I've ever played in my career. I'm absolutely loving the Bundesliga, but we need to get down to business down the Champions League. Make sure we go far and compete strong in it. Let's make that back-to-back -back wins. 4-2. There we go. Why do we always concede so many goals? Maybe the defense is the problem. Davies, Coma, Goretzka with a brace. We have one more game until we have the second leg versus Benfica. I'm risking it. I'm feeling confident right now now in the ability of this squad that is rotated except the center backs i don't know why and we get a 2-0 win goretzka again and Gnabry. oh wow look at this leipzig are tearing it up in the champions league as well they lost the first leg 3-0 to napoli and they won the second leg 4-0 i don't know how to tell who we would be playing if we beat benfica is it man city let me know in the comments am i getting that right will it be city because if so that's gonna be a very 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 hard fixture is there sure the favorites for it oh no straight away they're in behind oh wow what a goal how on earth are we behind already what a goal from benfica cabral outside the box again bottom corner unbelievable oh no here they come again it's cabral oh no what are these things 
Are you having a laugh? What on earth are we doing here? Benfica are tearing us apart right now. And we're two goals down on aggregate. This is unbelievable. Oh, they come again. This could be another goal. This is humiliating. What? An I thought we were going to turn up here and absolute dominate them. Okay, that's good from Kimmich. Come on. The we we're not out yet. Let let's not, like, cry about it. Is Zane coming forward? Ball out wide there for Fring Pong. Okay. Yeah, still got it. K making the run. Ball over the top. Takes it down. No, oh, it gets away from him. We're 23 minutes in. Anything could happen. We could win 20 to, to 3, which I, I don't think that's going to happen. Here's Fring Pong. Okay, pulls it back. There's got Zane. Edge of box. Flick that up. Goes out wide to Davies. Now passes it to Coman <laughs> off the block. Right, corner. Kane's in the box. We whip it in. Kane with the header. They're defending well. We're back in the box. Coleman. They really are defending well. They're passing it well as well. Okay, it's Muziala. Now Goreska. Nice control. Kane. Now it's fine. Muziala. Out wide there. Here's Coleman. Pass one player. Passes it. It's Masiala! Rebound! Oh, another save. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? What on earth is going on? Whip that in. Get your head on it. Yes, another save. The keeper is really turning up right now. I really am afraid that the board could sack me just for going out in the round of 16 like this. But if we did, we would have to absolutely smash the league. Just basically not lose a game. Win the cup. Is Zane. Okay, let's not plan what's going to happen if we go out. Let's, let's just win. Let's get through. Here's Muziala. Kane making the run. We play him. The ball is through. We got a bit lucky there. Or was it skill? Harry Kane finishes it. There we go. Don't celebrate. Get the ball. We need one more goal. We don't, don't play the silly song as well. We're losing. Come on. That's a great goal, though. Masiala looking for Kane. Oh, he's through. This could be it. This could be another goal. He's got out wide. Still got it. Kane to finish it. Oh, I just didn't want to pass it. I thought Kane was going to score that. We're getting back in it now. Kimmich whips it in. Header. That was so close to being won. But here we go again from the corner. Maziala goes short. Kane's there in the box. Whipped nope. in. Back post. Go on. Sane. Volley header. Why is it going with his head? Who on earth has ever scored a header from there? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, that's it. We're out. It's 4-2 on aggregate. They've done it. 10 minutes to play. Benfica could have just sacked me right there. That is horrible. Kane could have made it level and he didn't pass it. And then we go and concede that. We're out the Champions League. Or are we? Muziala. Here he comes. On a run. Nice dribbling. Out wide to Coleman. To the feet of Kane. Beautiful. Now Goretzka. Goretzka! Oh, no, he's gone down. Come on. And that's it. That's the whistle. 4 to an aggregate. We're out. Now, after that, the board want to speak to me. They say HRS. That is unacceptable. You cannot get knocked out in the round of 16 with Bayern Munich. We are very disappointed. We're not going to sack you, but you're on a thin line now. You know what you need to do to keep your job? You have to win the league. And we're going to take it a step farther. You need to win the cup also. And to win the cup, we need to beat Leipzig again in the semi-final. And then we've got Hamburg or whoever that other side is. We're, we're probably playing Hamburger. And we get a 1-0 win in our next game. Just the one goal. Hopefully that really hasn't wrecked our confidence, by the way. Kane scores the goal. But after 26 games, we're still one point behind Leipzig. When are they going to drop points? But we now have our second Classica off the season versus Dortmund. Come on, Kimmich. You have a long shot, surely. Hits it. Okay, forces a save. And you guys know, of course, there's there's not even a chance we can drop points here. Else we will be out this title race pretty much. I don't think Leipzig are ever going to drop points. Here's Kimmich on the ball. Out wide to Coman. Nice touch to the byline. No one's in the box to, to put it in. Here's Kimmich. Now looking for Kane. What is that? We need to be way more creative than that than just passing it to them. Here's Kimmich again. Now a nice pass to Muziala. Kane, nice nope. touch. Turns his man. What a tackle. Here's a long ball over the top. Kane takes it down. Kane with the shot. Oh, he's missed it. He normally would score that. Another long ball. Oh, look at this. That's a nice touch. Chip the keeper. Please go in. Kane with the goal. There we go. He has really robbed that. But we just had to make sure it was going in, you know. Harry Kane, probably his 35th goal of the season and that's it that is 90 minutes a one nil win we just about do it i don't know why they're just livid like a 
have just lost a cup final. What's going on here? Leipzig keep winning and we're still a point behind them. Dortmund are fifth. They're still in the top four race. I don't know why they were absolutely gutted. But the DFB Pokal semi-final, RB Leipzig. Fourth time we've played them this season. We've lost two, won one. And we have to be playing so much better in this one. Muller needs to probably be sold next season. Look how low rated he is now. 80 overall. We barely used him. I'm going to play Sal here. Doesn't play very often. We haven't played this guy yet. I don't know why I'm rotating so much. Because we need to get in that final. And we're going to play Tau on the left hand side as well. Well, this is a very good opportunity for Leipzig. Is Upender on the ball? Oh, no. What was that? That was dreadful defense. Oh, it's a goal, Leipzig. What was that defending? That's a run out wide, Tal. Oh, here he is. I can tell he's going to score. It is Tal. It's a goal. It's 1-1. Just before the break. We're back in it. Cue the silly music. Oh, we can pass that to Kane. Here's Kane. Chips the keeper. It's 2-1. The silly music still going and we've scored a second goal. It's still going. It's still going. The music is still going. Do they do this every time? They score a goal. What a save. But this could be us in a final. It's still going. We, we, the goal was 10 minutes ago. Chill. Here's Xavi Simons on the ball. An eight, a late equalizer. Ooh, that was going in. But we get the whip. 4-2. What do you mean? Where did all them goals come from? So we're playing Hamburger FC in the final. I am so convinced they've changed their name. That was never their name. They beat whoever they are 1-0 in the semis. We just have to keep winning now. We get a 3-0 win. Sané, Kane and Sané again. And just like that, we're top of the league. Clear by Leipzig by two points. It was eventually going to happen, man. They had to drop points at some point. We cannot drop points ourselves now at all. Cologne at home. A 2-1 win. We just about do it. Zane and Harry Kane. Come on, keep this going. A 3-1 win. There we go. Zane with a brace. This guy's incredible. And Coleman. 38 goals for Harry Kane now in 42. I said he'd get 35 plus, I think. You guys said he'd get more. And you're right, because he will break 40, surely. And Leipzig drop points again. We have four games to play, and we're now five points clear from them. Okay, we have breathing space now. But the same old, same old happening in the Bundesliga. Now we have Frankfurt at home. A 2-0 win. Harry came with the brace. And a 3-1 win versus Stuttgart. We are on absolute fire. With two games left to play, the most points Leipzig can get to is 80. And we're on 79. So if we win our next game, we win the league. And Wolfsburg is the opponent. Does De Ligt have a long shot? That is my question. We're about to find out. No, absolutely not. No upsets today, please. Let's just get the title done. Oh, wow. We're 1-0 down. That's unbelievable. Oh, look. Harry Kane's in the box. We whip it in. Takes it down. That's an equalizer. This guy's so good. He's got over 40 now. I think that's his 41st. Oh, he's another chance. Oh, they've scored again. We may still win the league with just a point. I don't know what our goal difference is. We do have another game after this if we need it. And that's it. That's a loss. We lose 2-1 to Wolfsburg. Leipzig win. If we get a draw, we'll win on goal difference. It shouldn't have been this close, man. But if we beat Hoffenheim, get 83 points, finish on 82 points, the title most definitely will be ours. Here's Musiala. Oh, that's a run there, Coman. Ball in behind. Now back for Musiala. Nice touch. Finish. What was that? Is Musiala in the box. Harry Kane! There we go. That's the much-needed goal we needed. We're ahead now. Harry Kane with the goal. I'm telling you, man. The old free-kick technique used to be so much better. Even just last year's. Dave, he's just put loads of power on that. He gets it around the wall. That was so good. Here's Coman. We can get that ball out wide there. Vettel. Big chance. Can he finish it? Can he win it? What was that? We've won it. We have won the title by one goal in this game. We bottled that last opportunity, but it's fine. We've done it. We win the title just about. And who's going to lift it? Oh, Manuel Neuer. This could be his very last season for Bayern Munich. And of course, he wins another title. What's that? His 50th Bundesliga title. We've lifted it. We've won it. Try and do it again. We're champions of the league. I have ticked off another thing on the contract. I have to win the league to keep my job this season. But now we have to go win that cup. Player off the season. Well, who on earth is going to win this? Of course, it's Harry Kane. He's going to win. Player off the season. Congratulations. They're always wearing the same tuxedo jacket, which is very out there, I've got to say. That's me. I'm in the crowd. That's delict. 
Congratulations, Harry Kane. Yeah, you can't say that's not deserved. He scored 42 goals in 46 games with 11 assists. He's just elite. He's incredible. But before the final, I bring Kane to my office to speak to him. I see Harry, we now have this massive cup final. And if we win it, I keep my job. We can push on next season and have a better year. But if we don't, I'm out of here. Please make sure you're backing in them goals. We need you in this game. In response saying, boss, I don't want you to be sacked. I want you here next season. And of course, I want to win another trophy. So I promise I'll go out in this game, do my absolute best and win us that trophy. Oh, that's a nice tackle there by Davies. Now a pass to Coleman. Kane through the gap. What a start this would be. Kane. Oh, we absolutely sat him down there. But the other player tackled him. Oh, look at this. Big chance. Oh, every single time, man. The opposition. All they need to do is just shoot from outside the box and it's in. How will we 1-0 down at the start of a game again? We have to make changes next season. That's if I even have my job still. How on earth are we losing to a piece of food? I don't even know their name was Hamburg. I thought it was Hamburg. I had to run in behind there for Davies. Nice touch. Get it across. I should have just hit it, shouldn't I? Here's Sané in behind that for Harry Kane. He can make the angle work. Here is Harry Kane. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. That's the equaliser. Harry Kane with the goal. He scores once again. And that is a terrific finish. Here is Musiala now in behind that. Coman. Here is Coman. Nope. Can he squeeze it in with one a corner? I want to be in the lead. I'm fuming, apparently. I'm, I'm going mad at that. I want to be winning before the break, though. Ball whipped in. Back post. Comes to Goretzka. Tell you what, that was not a bad effort. Davies coming forward, showing his dribbling ability. Oh, he's lost it. No, no, he keeps going. Alfonso now back to Goretzka is missed it. Come on, man. We could put this on the ground, to be fair. Comes to Kane. Harry Kane! We get lucky. Kane's finish most sadly skilled, though. Coleman, does he get the assist? Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not. We get the goal, though. That's the important thing. We've got less than 20 minutes to play. Goretzka out wide. Zane is onside. Zane to the byline. Across the box. Ooh, a deflection there. Could have helped in our favor. HRS has forgot the score again. I, I, I thought it was 1-1 for the last, like, five minutes. We're winning 2-1. They need an equaliser. Hamburger clearly don't have the sauce. You know what I mean? We have a couple of minutes left. Come on, let's win this. And we win it. There we go. Fantastic. I keep my job next season. League title done. Cup done. We really did bottle the Champions League. You really would think Hamburger would do better in the league than the cup. Because the league, you're lifting a plate. And you don't really find a Hamburger in a cup. But, you know, work that logic out. Here's Neuer to lift this cup. It's a big one. There we go. Victorious Bayern Munich. Win it. As I said, I keep my job. Get in the comments. Put your suggestions for season two. That will be soon. If you guys enjoy, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, turn the bell on. Want to see a Liverpool series? Then click this video here. Bayern Munich hired me as their brand new manager to return them back to the very top. Now, in season one here at Bayern, the board gave me this contract where to keep my job, I had to win the league. And not just that, I had to win the cup as well. It came down to the last couple of games in the league, but we went on and won the Bundesliga. And we also went on to lift the cup, which means I keep my job here for season two. But we really did perform in the Champions League last season. We got knocked out in the round of 16 to Benfica. But this season, we're going to have to bring in some big new players, change around some tactics, because the board have given me this contract. This season, they want me to win the Champions League. Budget they've given me is $134 million, which isn't actually a whole lot. Of course, we have a very good side. Harry Kane last season scored 44 goals, by the way. This guy is just totally wild class. Of course, as always, you guys put your comments in on who you think we should sign this season. And as always, stay tuned, guys, because we have three brand new custom kits, and you're not going to want to miss them. Now, the suggestions were like Vinicius Jr. from Real. We just can't afford him. 210 to 262. That is just so much. Zane did pretty well on the right as well. And yes, that is how you say his name, by the way. Go listen to the German commentary. They're both 28. Zane is one rating high 
higher than Coleman, so I just don't know who to get rid of. Do you guys really think we should sign a new winger? Rodrigo always signs for City, so we can't sign this guy. If we were to sign him, I'd play him on the left, though, because he is right-footed. We could perhaps reunite Harry Kane and Hyungmin Son. That'd be interesting. Or Raphael Liao, 150 to 180 million. So we'd be spending the majority of our budget. Of course, we'd be selling a player. That would not leave us with a lot, though. Do you guys also feel we should sign a new goalkeeper? And I agree. Manuel Neuer is now 85 overall. He's 38. He's only going to go down in rating. But perhaps we could go in for someone like Cobell from Dortmund. I just feel this would be a typical buy-in signing. 100 to 130 million, though. I don't want to be paying that for a goalkeeper. Maybe Donnarumma, but it costs the exact same. We need to find someone whose contract is expiring. 48 million for all black. 60 to 74. Okay, that's more like it. It's 88 overall at 31. Who even sell? Manuel Neuer. He's 38, of course. He's valued at 13 million. But I guess the big question is, is does he even want to leave the club? So I bring him to my office and I say, Manuel, you did very well last season, but this season, I feel we need a new goalkeeper. You're now 38. I feel you're only going to drop in form and your prime days are really past. Boss, I'm actually really pleased you came to speak to me about this and you're going to be surprised to hear this, but I completely agree. I feel it's time for me to move on. I've played at the highest level for Bayern for a very long time and I no longer can offer that. Man, well, I am surprised you're saying that, but I am also pleased. You're an absolute legend. I think you're the best keeper ever and the fans will be sad to see you leave. Oh, wow. Look at that timing. West Ham come in and pays 4 million euro release clause. Great. So we lose out on 10 million. Ooh, another player that we actually need to get rid of is Thomas Muller. He's now 79 overall at 34. This guy's rating fell off a cliff and he really wasn't happy last season that we didn't play him. We won't be able to get much more for him than just 12 million. They'll probably decline. We're just going to have to accept that. He's staying in the Bundesliga. The sad moment has finally arrived. The best goalkeeper ever is leaving the club. His time is up and what a career he had here. And from one legend to another, Thomas Muller. How many games did he play for Bayern? So many. He's now off to Union Berlin. Do we now have Nubel? in goal and we need a new goalkeeper. So you guys are going to have to get in the comments and let me know who do we sign for this position. But the big question is who goes? Is it Zade on the right or Coleman on the left? That's to say Coleman did play slightly better last season and when it comes to stats his finishing is 77 and Zane's is 85. Do you know what? I, I think it's probably better we keep Zane and you guys are probably still raging at that pronunciation. Now we've never actually signed this guy. Cavada to Scalia from Napoli. We've had an Napoli career mode. We used him in that. My goodness. 160 to 200 million. Let, let's do it. Let's try and do a swap deal with Coleman, who is worth 80 million. I'm going to go and offer Coleman plus 65 million euros. And they want 77. So that was pretty close. We bring that down to 70. And what? Have we stalled? What happened there? They accept it. I've never seen that cutscene before. I resumed into me and I had aged about 40 years. But guys, this is going to be a massive Massive signing. It's going to be on big wages as well. 180k a week. Cavada says yes. Number 20 will probably change that around. Here's the new buying shirt, by the way. A little tease. It's very similar to, I think, the 2015 one. But he's looking sharp in the kit. And he's looking even better in the starting 11. If we win the Champions League this year, which we have to, this man will be a massive part behind it. And as always, with a new signing, we bring him to my office. I say, Cavada, welcome to Bayern Munich. I'm so excited to sign you. And I cannot wait to see you play in that buying shirt. Plus, the same goes here. I cannot wait to get started. Thank you so much for signing me. We have big business to do this year. We want to be winning that Champions League and maintaining the league, of course. Do we have any other numbers we can give him? He's currently number 20. Do we have 11? Yes, we do. What about 7? Who has that? Gnabry. Number 10 is Zane. So 11's fine. Don't know what he is at Napoli. Let me know in the comments. Once you're doing that, smash a like on the video and subscribe if you knew. This is my second channel. Now, with Thomas Muller going, I have seen a lot of you guys suggest we move Guerrero to a camp because he goes up to 88 overall, apparently. It would take four weeks. We might as well do it. I don't know if he'll go up to 88, but it will definitely go up, which means we need to sign a new left back. 
And we also need to sign a goalkeeper. Is it this career mode or the Liverpool where we have the two signing limit in the summer? You guys are going to have to remind me in the comments. It's that time again to check out the new kit. Oh, look at that. That is a brighter red than the shorts and the socks. This is a very unusual Bayern Munich kit. I have not seen something like this before. But the home shirt itself, the actual shirt isolated, reminds me of a, a shirt from 2015. T-Mobile still the sponsor. Adidas, obviously the kit maker. Bayern always makes solid kits. This one especially with the white is amazing. And we have Mr. Harry K to reveal the away. And oh boy, this is surely the best one. That is amazing. How have they never done that before? They probably have. It's the exact same as the badge. That is amazing. The sleeves are incredible. Matches boots as well. The blue, the red, the white. That is amazing. And Musiala with the third kit, which is black and red with a little bit of gray. Again, is absolutely smashed it with all three of the kits. Let me know in the comments out of 10 what you rate each one. I can't find a fault yet. And of course, the goalkeeper kit. He's kept it quite simple there compared to the others. Nice colors, nice pattern. An amazing job once again. Big shout out to Emma Y. If you want to support him, his links are in the description. Go check him out. This is the exact same way we kicked off last season. And we actually lost this game to Leipzig. So we definitely don't want to be doing that here. We want to kick things off by winning a trophy or his first impression. Kevara on the ball. He finds Kane. Back to him. This guy's going to be so good. He can go through this gap here. Big chance. Going to bring that back. Harry Kane. What a block. That would have been a great start. The defense needs to step up this year. Do a whole lot better than last. Just like that. To lick. Great tackle. Oh, no. Big chance here. Up nope. and uh, another big tackle. Defense so far. It's been amazing. It's Garaska on the ball. Can we get that out wide? That's a fantastic pass. It's a great touch there, Kevara. He's going to look for Kane. Beautiful pass. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Zane. Oh, the save by the keeper. He pulls it back, though. Goreska back in the box. Now looking for Kane. Kevara! What a goal! It's 1-0 Bayern. It's his debut goal. It's the first goal of the season. What a way to start off his Bayern Munich career. And so far, this is exactly what we want to see this season. Good defense and good offensive play. Oh, that's a tackle. Good stuff, Goretzka. What on earth have they done there? This could be 2-0. Leon Goretzka. What a finish. Post it in. You'd think that's Harry Kane. It's 2-0, Bayern. Terrible, terrible mistake there by Leipzig. And that finish, you'd think is a striker. Oh, he's just gone straight past Fring Pong. Oh, Timo Werner. You can tell this is FC 24, can't you? Timo Werner scoring. Say that, I don't know if he is actually doing well at Leipzig or not. But I know what he did at Chelsea. Give the ball to Kevara. I forgot how good this guy's dribbling is. Here's another goal. Kevada. Oh, it's world class. We've signed an incredible player. He is going to win us the Champions League. Him and Kane need to really find a good way to link up. Whatever that is, we're going to have to experiment. Get the best thing possible. Maybe cut inside or, or stay out wide. Get your suggestions in the comments for your instructions. And how we can get them combining and playing really well together. Imagine if he were to score a hat-trick on his debut. Harry Kane surely is out wide. Okay, that's them combining. In the Napoli, did score a lot of these. Oh, okay, he's definitely going to score one or two of those in this series. Nope. What a save. Kane, rebound. Leipzig have done really well so far of that defense. Oh, that's poor. That's poor. Upender, what a save by the keeper. Oh, look at this pace there, Timo Werner. He gets onto that right foot. Nope. Nice tackle, delict. Now Zane on the ball. Kane make the run. This could be another goal. It's a brilliant touch. Now, oh, that defense from the center back was very good. Here's Zane. If we chip that up and just get your foot right through it. Oh, I thought that was going in. Okay, so Kavara's just staying out wide, which I don't want him to do that. I want him to cut inside. He's going to wind one up there. Wasn't too far away. Should have done something else, though. And that is the win. First game played. Two debut goals for Kavara to Skelia. And we win a trophy. We failed to do it last year versus Leipzig. But we made sure we did it this season. Here it is. This wild cup looking trophy. Kimmich, the man to lift it. He's rocking the moustache, you know. Only real ones do that. Kimmich to lift it. There we go. Champions off whatever that is. Good way to start off the season.
One player we haven't seen too much of this series is Gnabry, and Newcastle want to sign him. I'm going to decline this. This is the only real backup we have for whip. I mean, Tell could play there, but he's mainly a backup striker. Benfica want to sign Guerrero. He is Portuguese. This guy's about to go up to like 86 overall, so he'll be worth a whole lot more than 30 soon. Our first game in the league is against Frankfurt. It's a way we can put out our full strength side. We are, we are wearing this amazing beautiful away kit but this season i'm gonna make sure i rotate as much as i can we really need to get Gnabry involved more here's zane early on through to kane i have actually edited an instruction for kevada what a chance this is it's Marciala one now fantastic finish a beautiful goal there by munich lead under 10 minutes but that's what i said i've edited kevada's instructions so he cuts inside and gets in behind so he should be a lot more involved this game but that is a cool Calm finish by Musiala. He put up some really good numbers last year. Oh, no. Frankfurt want to get back in it, though. That's a nice block. Oh, here he is on the ball. He's going to come out the defense. Can he go through that gap? Oh, he sent him through this gap. Look at him go. Okay, it is quite an easy dribble, what he was doing just that. Okay, okay, okay. He, he, he's not messy. He can't go all the way. Oh, a shot there. What a save by the keeper. Tell you what, Kane's a lot quicker than you think he is. Look at him on the left-hand side right now. Mazial is the support player. Can he go the way? Harry Kane is about to bend it in. Oh, wow, that was dreadful. That was really not good. Frankfurt shot. Ooh, block goes for a corner. I've had a few good opportunities so far. But this season, we've defended a whole lot better than last. That's a nice header away. Nice touch there by the goal scorer. Marziala, who has a yellow card. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. It's not going to bottle it like Kane did. He's going to pull it back. Oh, he has bottled it. Oh, look at this passing. Beautiful stuff. Garaska, Kane, Cavada making the run through the gap. Onto that right foot. Goes to get the shot off. Comes out. Now I've got Garaska. What a save. Cavada to Skelly. A shot from the corner. What do we do? Do we whip it in? Kane's there. Why not? Let's just shoot over the bar. Now Maziana coming forward. Kane making the run. Ball over the top. He's too out wide. I'm just going to get this in the box. See if someone can do something. Sade, what a touch. Now Fringpong. Trifella. Oh, I, I, I was trying to do a bit of pavard there. And that couldn't be any further from it. Now Muziala. Oh, look at that pass there for Kane. One touch. The finish. It's 2-0. 55 minutes in. Harry Kane gets his goal. They weren't going to stop him from scoring. Muziala. What an impact he's had in this game so far. Oh, no. No, no, no. What a save. But tell you what. This keeper's done pretty good. Muziala again coming forward. That's a run, Kane. Can he get him the ball? Can Kane actually get to that? It was a very good idea. The defender so nearly messed that up. It's Kevada on the ball. Oh, he's just sent him completely. And him. Look at him go. Kevada out wide. Garaska nope. straight at the keeper. Kevada's dribbling. He's just next level. Nice ball in behind there for Kane. We want three. Muziala could get another. Muziala now to this guy. Oh, he's missed it. It's Kevada with the shot. He should have buried it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at that. It's a goal back. We have a couple of seconds until the game is over. That's only a consolation there for Frankfurt. Disappointing to not get the clean sheet, though. Barcelona offer 200 million for Jamal Masiala. They obviously was watching the last game. Oh, boy, did he play well. But nope, he's staying here at Bayern. And we now can change Guerrero to a camp. Do we do it? We, I guess we do need one. Eight overall are you having a laugh how on earth does this happen i'm shocked i'm absolutely shocked at that guero i know i'm saying his name wrong is now a backup cab this guy is gonna have to go out on loan he definitely has good potential we'll just bring lima onto the bench can guero still play left back a negative one he can definitely play left back so it's an 87 overall left back that just works out better anyway doesn't it well as you guys know we need a goalkeeper we have 100 and two million to spend and these are the players on the shortlist currently of black probably the favorite option 60 to 74 definitely affordable so okay with suggestions down below guys for the next episode if you enjoy leave a like subscribe if you know want to see a liverpool career mode then click this video here we kicked off season two here at Bayern by signing cavara di Scalia from napoli in a swap deal with kingsley coman plus 70 million and here are his first two goals for the club now looking for kane cavara 
Oh, what a goal. Here's another goal. Kevada. Oh, it's world class. Guys, with Kevada in the side now, it's so much stronger. This front three as well. Kevada to Scalia, Harry Kane, and Zane on the right. It's unbelievable. And of course, with Bayern hired me as their manager, they gave me this contract, which runs for two years. And this season, I have to win the Champions League. But guys, there's 10 hours left in the window. And we do have 102 million euros. And of course, we need to sign a new goalkeeper. We're playing Nubel currently, and so far, he's done really good. But he's 79 overall. Because of course, West Ham United signed the legendary Manuel Neuer off this last episode. And so far, we have Cobal, who plays for Dortmund. That would be typical, wouldn't it? Sign a Dortmund player. But he's too much. 100 to 130. We can't afford that. Donnarumma, the same with him. Basically the same. 106 to 133. But we have Jan Oblak. 31, so he's old. But 88 overall. 60 to 74. We can most definitely afford him. But there's also 90 overall. 32 year old Courtois from Real. 68 to 85. Again, we can afford him. There were some suggestions. You guys put in the comments. What about Mike Magnan? He's in his 20s. 29. 89 overall. 90 to 110. So we could definitely afford him if we get the fee right. So right now, it's between him, Courtois, and Oblak. And the two extremely good goalkeepers. IRL, three of the best goalkeepers in the world. You know what? We're just going to go to a world decide because I can't make this decision. So it's going to be Oblak. Okay. I mean, whoever it landed on, it was going to be a win anyway. They're three great goalkeepers. Pretty sure this guy's the cheapest option between 59 and 74. So if we go in with 63 million, they should accept that. They want Upamakana. Absolutely not. Okay, we'll go up by 1 million to 64. And they agree. Of course, with my contract, if we don't win the Champions League this year, we're sacked. So this is our last season. We have to win it. It really doesn't matter about the keeper age. 31's not old for a keeper. 130k a week. He says yes. And boom, there's our new number one in the new goalkeeper shirt. He goes for the short sleeves, which to be fair, looks pretty good. This guy, of course, has some massive shoes to fill. Manuel Neuer, the best goalkeeper ever, has just left. Of course, he wasn't in his prime. Oblak's most certainly better at this point, but he probably will feel the pressure. So I bring him to my office and say, Juan, welcome to Bayern Munich. You're just the man we needed to replace Manuel Neuer. Boss, it's an honor to be here. Thank you very much for signing me. And it's an honor that you saw me fit to be the replacement. When putting on that shirt, I will do everything to wear. So this will be Oblak's debut here. Freiburg. It would be amazing to keep a clean sheet. And he does. We win 3-0. Tell Kevara and Harry Kane. Oh, great. Leroy Zane has an injury. A dead leg quad injury, apparently. Six days. So he's going to miss this half a Berlin game or not. He he is back, but he has zero sharpness. I'm just going to play Gnabry. Why not? He's a good enough player away from home here. 2-1 win. Just about winning. Musiala and Harry Kane, of course. Who else is going to score? After four appearances this season, he has three goals and two assists. He's going to smash it once again. Now, you see our group has been drawn for the season. We're playing Roma, Sevilla, and Zagreb. Just a very interesting group. We always get the exact same group every career mode on this channel. It's never really easy. It's never really hard. But before our opening game of the group versus Sevilla, we now have Wolfsburg in the Bundesliga. Always a shot there from Wolfsburg. Nice save, up Black. Long ball here from Wolfsburg. Oh, he takes that down very nicely. He doesn't shoot, doesn't pull it back as well. If he did either one of those things, they probably would be in a better situation by now. Probably would have scored. We're defending this well. We're marking well. They just, they can't get past us. They shoot. <laughs> nice save. You know, this game has not gone our way so far. I mean, we did score, but, you know, I'm going to keep mentioning that by the way. Are you kidding me? We're one no down. We have five minutes to get an equalizer. Unbelievable. Who picks green as their main color as well for their shirt? Unbelievable. Okay, if we go back to Kevara, we're going to pass Bruh. it to them, aren't we? Unbelievable. And that's it. That's the game. We lose. After four games in the league, we are third place on nine points. A point off top, which is Leipzig and Dortmund. But Sevilla, they are a pretty good side. They probably want to go down to the Europa League and win. 
minute. But never take the UC out too seriously. We are going to play Ganapri on the right. Look at this, by the way. We converted Guerrier. No, I'm saying his name wrong. To a cam from a left back. He went up to 88 from 82. Which is pretty cool. Because if we want to play him at left back, he goes down by two. So, I mean, it was a win-win anyway. We are going to play him at camp. We're going to bring in Sal as well. Would make another change, but I felt we've made too many anyway. We are here with an opportunity. Nice pass there. Kevada. He has a right foot. Oh, what a save. Where's Guerra out wide? Oh, yeah. Kane. First time on his left foot. He is incredible. He is so good. Best striker in the world. Cue the, the terrible... I mean, really good music. It's one nil Bayern. Oh, look at this. Look at nope. this. Look at this. What a tackle. Okay, the music has finally stopped from that goal. I'm not going to go at your box because the guy always moves. Keeper, please don't catch this. That's a nice ball. We could have got ahead on that. They get it away. Here's Harry Kane. Tell making the run. I can tell he's going to score it. There we go. Tell makes it 2 0. Another goal for Bayern. And play the silly music again. Why don't you? It's Gnabry. Oh, look at that. It's 3 0. It's Harry Kane. Look at him go. That's a finish. Oh, it's too good. 3 0. What a way to start off the group, by the way, by smashing Severe. Back to the league. And it's a 1 1 draw. Are you kidding me? We dropped points again. We have our first game in the cup. Of course, we won this last season. Kevada with a brace. Perhaps a hat trick. No, telling Garaska the other scorers. Big win. We now have Leverkusen. Another side that will be in a tighter race with us this season. I mean, they are in real life. Thank I'm going to make a change. I'm going to take out Goreska. He did score last game. I'm going to bring in Sal and also Upa Makana. Oh, we're in the away kit. The away kit is absolutely beautiful. If I could buy it, I would. That's a run there, Zane. Ball over the top. Oh, he's offside. What a finish as well. Uh, but unfortunately, he's off. That's a nice ball whipped in. Look at that. Oh, what a save. That is the best opportunity of the game. It should have been 1-0. But our new goalkeeper, our new number one, made an incredible save. That was a handball. What do we do here? I'm going to go with a free kick, Kimmich. I'm just going to put as much power on that without ballooning it. Oh, what a save. That was incredible. Kimmich gets the ball back in. Big header. Oh, they clear it. By the way, we have around 10 minutes left. Oh, you absolute cow. And that's it. It's nil-nil. We, we drop points again in the league. We're now back to the Champions League, playing AS Roma away from home. I'm, I'm feeling confident about this, you know. We, we're just going to skip over it. And we get a 3-1 win. Kevara with a brace and Harry Kane. Kevara's had such a good start. In 10 appearances, he has eight goals, one assist. He actually has more goals than Kane. We're now playing Bremen. How you say a name? 2-0 win. Zane and Harry Kane. Now Hamburg. The side we beat in the final last year. Yeah, they scored two goals, but we score four. Kane, Goreska with a brace and Kevara. Now, this game against Zagreb, we can actually rotate, surely. I'm, I'm going to rotate Kane out for Tell. Get Gnabry in there. Do we have anyone who can play on the left? That might be a January signing we make, you know, which will be open next episode. We'll rotate the midfield. Yeah, pretty much rotating as much as we can. And it's a 5 1 win. Wow. Kevara. With a brace, Gnabry. Also with a brace and Guerra. What a win. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this series so far, smash the video like and subscribe because this is my second channel. Oh, you're joking. We go win 4-2 and then we lose 4-2 to Union Berlin. What is going on, by the way, in the league? Oh, we have the Ballon d'Or ceremony. We have this guy wearing a cap. Hey, it's Harry Kane. Get in. Haaland and Bappe. Yep, not as good as this guy. Fantastic. Congratulations to him. That's Kaka. Where am I? Am I in the crowd? Show me! There I am. There he is. The best manager in the world. The best manager in the world who, of course, can't beat Union Berlin. Wow, loses 4-2. We get a 3-0 win here. Came with the brace and Cape Vara. They're both on fire. Boom! A 4-0 win versus Hoffenheim. Zane, Kane, Kevara, and Kimmich. Now, we have a game against Zabrek at home in the group stage. If we win, we're definitely through to the round of 16. There's Kevara. Kane, is he on side? Can he take that down? Oh, that's a big header away, that is. Back out to Kevada. Beats his man. Oh, no need to. Here's Leon Garaska. Back to Kevada. Maziala. Can nope. he finish it? What a block. Garaska coming forward again. Oh, look, he can just go straight through this gap. Can he score? Yeah. Oh, no. Near post. Didn't do that. Using the left back. Back to the same guy. So far, our defense has been good. We just need to win the ball back. Chance for him to shoot. Okay, they're, they're just passing it around. Are they going to actually get to the goal? No, they're not. Have a chance. Oh, they're through. They shoot. What a save. He's number 18. Delict. What a big tackle. Come on, get the ball away. 15 minutes left to play. Musiala. Now he's got Lemmer on the ball. Finds Kane. 
What? What's that? And that's it. We get a point. Kane, just take a touch. After 10 games, we're actually third in the league still. Three points off top of the league, Leverkusen. You guys thought this crew mode was going to be a walk in the park, didn't you? In the Bundesliga, but absolutely not. We now have RB Leipzig. They're not doing too well this season. They have dropped off. Of course, we're playing this because they will get up there again. And they're a hard team to beat. Gnabry on the right hand side. In fact, in season one, the first two games against them, pretty sure we lost both for them. Now, record here versus Leipzig isn't an amazing one. Okay, corner. Just whip this in. Get ahead on it. Harry Kane. Whoa, I could have won that. Marcial, a nice touch. Perhaps not. Okay, opportunity. They whip it in. Nope. Oh, big header away there. Look at this. It's Gnabry. All he needs to do is beat this player here. And he's good. He decides to cut inside. That's a run there, Kevara. Ball out wide. Now onto that right foot. Back to Gnabry. Now Kane is offside. But that is a goal. It's onside. It's 1-0. What a goal. That is why you play to the whistle. Because I so easily could have just said he's offside. Another free kick. Oh, what a hit that was. Oh, that was close. Hang on a minute. Was that Trent who just hit that? I'm pretty sure it was. Look, that's Trent at right back. Unbelievable. What a signing. Should be playing him at centre mid, of course. Okay, we'll target this position because he's not tackling us. This is good play. From Davies, Harry Kane. Should have been 2-0. Oh, look at that from a pender. This guy always seems to score against us. We're going to slide in. That's not very good at all. Luckily, he wasn't the last man. Oh, he's having none of it, our pender. Is he actually going to get up? Ooh, I'll get to yellow card. We need to be careful at defense with Dillett now. Shot there. What a save. So far, our black has been very, very good. Here's Musiala on the ball. Now he goes to Kane. Look at that run there from Kevada. Not Musiala. Okay, back to Kane. Nice, nice counter-attack. Here's Goretzka. 2-0. A nice passing goal. A team goal. Bayern lead by two. Beautiful assist there by Kane. Clever, clever pass. And Goretzka. Fantastic finish. Oh, look at this run here from Alfonso. He's going to opt to go out wide there. To Kevada. Now onto that right foot. Speeding a couple of players. Come on. We did it in the Napoli. We're going to have to do it with him. We've came so close so many times. At some point, it has to go in. That was not far away at all. Look at that. Just over the top. Here comes Jamal. Oh, that's a goal. That's a goal. One touch. Harry Kane. Boom. It's too good. He is too good. First time finish. Harry Kane. Two. Another counter attack. Oh, what a save up Black. Corner whipped in. Oh, no, 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 no. Get it away. Get this away. Fill it. Get a foot in. It's on a yellow. Yeah, good stuff. Strong, strong defense. An amazing keeper, Harry Kane up front. What a side. Perfect team. Keepers nope. on that. Beautiful. This team is so good. Let's go score another. Nice ball there to Kevada. Should be his goal. Here he is. Boom! 4 now. Kevada to Skillier scores. It's a fourth goal by Munich. Ball there to Kane. This is 5 now. Harry Kane. Not a chance he misses this one. Harry Kane. Oh, the composure is unbelievable. By Munich 5 now. Go on. It's dead slow to the silly music. That was Kane's hat trick, by the way. <laughs> it's going to be 6 now. What do you mean it's offside? That wasn't offside. Come on, show me then. Germans are very efficient at technology and just manufacturing stuff in general. So they're going to get this right, unlike the English refs. Yeah, congratulations to Mr. Harry Kane for scoring his hat trick. Five attempts, three goals. It's just astonishing. I have no idea who this side is. And we beat them 3 1. Good stuff. Okay, Barrow with a brace. Two games left to play in the group stage. And yeah, we we've definitely qualified. One point will confirm it. There we go. We get three. Zane and Musiala. And back to the bunch. This league at three goals. We're on fire at the moment. Kane with a brace and Kimmich. We may be winning a lot of games, but we're still not top of the league. If we win this next one, we will be on goal difference. And it happens to be munching glad back. And it's a draw. Are you having a laugh? We go drop points. We bottle it. We're doing a Dortmund. Last game of the group stage. 2 0 win. Kevara and Alfonso. That was a very, 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 very strong group stage. We got 16 points, five wins one draw and the runner 16 is here and we're playing man city fantastic possibly the favorites this year for the champions league and we play them first we now have stuttgart and then a massive game it's a 4-0 win musiala zane came with a brace oh nice this is realistic this classica is on christmas day you guys will be watching this on 
Christmas Eve, not Christmas Day. But this is a massive game. We are in the famous, now famous, away kit. We're in good form. We're fighting to go top of the league. A win here would be so, so big. Do you know what? I'm just going to shoot with Alfonso. Why not? He goes to hit one. Goes wide a goal. It's a nice header. Down to Kevara there. There he comes. Abram Musiala. Ooh, kind of gets in the ball. Kane brings it back. Oh, dreadful defense there. That's Dortmund stuff, that is. Tell you what, Dortmund and Spurs are very similar clubs, aren't they? They just have to go and Spurs it up or Dortmund it up. That is 1-0 Bayern. We go through this gap. Kane's making the run. Elegantly put it over the top. Harry Kane. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh, it's brilliant. What a save. That would just be sensational. Zane whips one in. Header. Nope. Oh, that would have had, a, had a whole lot of power to go in. Now I've got Goretzka. He's going to rifle this one in. What a save. He caught it as well. That'll be in a compilation. Oh, what a tackle there, Kimmich. Come on. We need to make this 2-0. We deserve it. Well, we, we need to put it in the back of the net to deserve it. Just like that. 2-0. Okay, Fata Tiskili, a second goal of the game. 2-0. 34 minutes in to Bayern Munich. We most sadly will be winning this classic game. Is that what it's called? Let me know in the comments. All right, come Dortmund, though. They want to go back. Oh, it's Dana Haaland. He's completely switched off. Zane coming forward. Kane making the run. Ball over the top. He will get there. Harry nope. Kane. What a clearance. That would have been a third. Zane whips it in. Kevada! What a hat trick. I did not expect that to go in. That's his third goal. That's Bayern's third goal. Dortmund are very much so getting thrashed right here. Keeper could have saved that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Malin goes to hit one. What a save. But tell you what, since signing him, we've, when we've played, he's barely conceded. In fact, how many goals have we conceded whilst playing since we signed him? Let me know in the comments. Is Zane on the ball? Oh, I'm keeping my eye on that run there. Oh, no, that's a better run there, Kane. Nice touch. Here he is. Put your foot through it. He's unbelievable. He's absolutely unbelievable. He had a couple of seconds. Not even that. He had a second, half a second to get that shot off as he was tackled. One touch there. Another. And boom. Okay, he probably had a little bit longer. But that is such a good finish. Unbelievable. 4-0 Bayern. No, no, no. Clean sheet, clean sheet, clean sheet. What a block. Still not gone. It's still not gone. Oh, oh, yes. What a save. Conceding would have been so irritating. And that's it. That's game. We've absolutely obliterated Dortmund in their own backyard. What a performance by Cavara Tiskilia. We are now actually in the January window. Budget-wise, we have 32 million. So not a whole lot. And we're still not top of the league. We're two points off Leverkusen. And we've absolutely smashed it recently. Dortmund, a second. Two points behind us. That 32 million. What do we do? I did mention signing a backup left winger. They would have to be around like 78 overall with the money we have. Good potential, of course. So get your suggestions down below if you guys enjoy this episode. Leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the bell on. Want to see a Liverpool series? Then click this video here. When Bayern Munich hired me, they gave me this two-year contract. And in season two, we have to win the Champions League else we're out of here. And we're currently in season two and this is the squad we have. We have signed Cavani to Skillia from Napoli. And last episode, Juan or Black to replace the legendary Manuel Neuer. We definitely have a very capable squad to go and win the league and, of course, Champions League. But guys, in the league, we're not actually top. We're second to Leverkusen on 36 points. However, we completely smashed the group stage in the Champions League. And in the round of 16, the side we're facing is Manchester City. It's very hard because they're probably the best team in the world right now. But the January window is now open. We have 30 million to spend. And this, of course, is our main 11. If we rotate it, you can see the one player we don't rotate is Kevara on the left-hand side. So we could do with signing a young left winger who's around 78 overall. And of course, you guys went out and put Ganacho as his suggestion. He's an exciting prospect. He will be around that rating, probably a rating or two lower. We signed him in the Villa career mode, which was on the main channel about 15 days ago. But do we sign him again? That is the question. It, it would be a great signing. You guys would love it. Another suggestion you guys put was Jeremy Doku, but this guy's too high rated, I feel. And he plays on the right hand side, but he is right footed, I've realized. So do you know what? 
we could possibly do it. We will play him quite a bit. He would grow, and we do want to win everything this season. So, yeah, Ganacho, Doku, great options, both for Manchester. Okay, our Arsenal having a laugh here. They want to sign Harry Kane for 172 million. Just get out. To be fair, go back to the winger thing. Because we know his valuation, we could put an offer in. Oh, we only have 30 million, so we couldn't even sign him. 46 to 58 million. Okay, let's just go and put an offer in for Ganacho. You guys won't mind that we've signed him twice. I mean, that's if we actually do sign him. 18 million. They straight up say no. I have noticed this Arson, who is an exciting prospect. He's at Real Sociedad, but he doesn't have a game picture. Or, or definitely not a game face. But this guy's 86 potential. He would be very good. He's right, but it plays on the left. Starts off around 75. So a player that we could sign. We've now got our scout report back for Ganacho. I mean, we can't go back in for him. You know, I'm just going to wait the amount of time we need to wait and, and go straight back in for him. We have Mites, first game of the episode, and it's a 4-0 win. Zane with a brace, Zane with a hat-trick, and Kimmich. Can we go back in for Ganacho now? We can. Okay. 42 to 53 million. There's not a chance he's valued at that. Of course, IRL is valued more than that. We're just going to have to make a blind offer for this guy. In the second season, if I go in with 23 million, if they walk out, I swear, they, they say no. Okay, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to sign this exciting prospect, Jamie from Dortmund. I know Giddens. This guy has incredible potential and we're going to overvalue him to 21 million. And they say no! Are you having a laugh? We beat Hoffenheim 3-1, but we get a red card. Zane with a brace again. Goresk again is sent off. And Keivara to Skelly with a goal. Okay, we're on deadline day. Can we please go back in for... Oh, no, we can't. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I would love to sign this guy. Okay, just for the sake of it, can we sign anyone who's a left winger from Bayern? They have John Duran. We know how good he was. Midfielders, any left mids? They've got Adi Emi. Definitely can't afford him. Ooh, this guy's good. I know for a fact this guy's got good potential. But the problem is he starts off at like 66 overall. We can't mess this up. We cannot mess this up. I'm I'm going to go in for 16 million. They're definitely going to say yes. Of course they do. He's probably worth about four, but I don't want them to walk out. I want to make sure we sign a player from Dortmund specifically for a laugh. Get this guy on a five-year deal. He is, is a wonder kid as well. He's got some amazing potential. No release clause. Wages. You can tell he's not very high overall. And boom. There he is. That January signing. Our last signing of this series. It's Julian from Dortmund. And it's 16 million. What do they rate this signing? This is the moment of truth. It's an F. We could have saw, we could have saved 11 million. But it's 73 overall. It's a lot higher than I thought. Look at that. 18. 73. Exciting prospect. He's gone from a development club to a big club in Bayern Munich. Some of you guys will be fuming that I said that. Deal with it. The bottle job FC. Let everyone down FC. We've made a really good signing there. Duranville. Duranville. I don't know how to say his name. Let me know in the comments. We have Union Berlin here, and we just about win. They actually beat us last episode. Zane, by the way, another brace. He's on fire, and Musiala. With this amazing form, I bring Leroy to my office. I say, Zane, you're playing so well at the moment. Keep this up. You're absolutely smashing it. You're now our third top goal scorer with 11. Boss, I appreciate it. I'm playing so well at the moment. I'm just feeling it. Just please continue to play me, and I promise I'll continue to score the goals. That guy's we take a look at their stats, Kevara actually has one more goal than Kane with eight assists. 20 and 26 for Kane. And with the assist, Davies is up there. Musiala. We have got some really good players this season putting up some really good numbers. But our new signing is going to make his debut here. The quarterfinal in the DFB Pokal. There he is on the left-hand side. We've got Schalke and we lose. Are you kidding me? Are you having a laugh? What match rating did he get? A 5.6. He was terrible. How are we still not top of the league, by the way. We have a game in hand on Leverkusen, and if we win, we go a point clear from them. So please, let's not go messing this one up. We are playing Wolfsburg at home. I'm talking about going to mess it up. We could be 1-0 down here. Go on, chip me, chip me. Oh, look at that. It's 1-0. I don't believe it. Unbelievable. 1-0. Oh, Zane on the ball. Ball out wide there. Full K about it. Look at that overlapping run there, Alfonso. Back to K about it. Oh, I so want to hit it. Oh, yes, bit of luck. Mercy has missed it. I don't believe it. Oh, Mercy Allah. Thought he was in North London there. He absolutely bottled it. Look at this, Harry Kane. 1-1. One, one. 
is unbelievable. It's not missing that. Didn't take us long to get back in it. Cue the silly music. I'm absolutely fine with it in scenarios like that as well. He's onside. Harry Kane not missing that. Absolutely lethal. Harry Kane, he scores every opportunity but that penalty in the World Cup. We have a corner here. We're one goal up. A second would be a cushion. Oh, look at this. Masial. Oh, what a goal. Fantastic. Goal, 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 goal. Look at that. That's the two-goal cushion. Our wonder kid, Musiala, the Englishman. And that is the win. 3-1. We are now top of the Bundesliga. So we actually now have Hertha Berlin. Two days later, the first leg versus City. So you know exactly what we're doing. Fully rotating. And it's a 2-0 win. Get in, Gretzky and Tell. Did uh, Anu signing up a bit of game there? A 7.1. I'll take that. First leg is here. Manchester City away from home. We can put out our starting full fit. Best 11. We always him the first leg. Like it is in Manchester, and we lose 2-1. Okay, Bernardo Silva, Foden. Musiala for us is really stepping up recently, but we have a lot of work to do in that second leg. After 21 games, we're top of the league by one point. Leverkusen in second, and we now play Bayer Leverkusen. This is one giant game, and we can't be slipping here. We cannot. They've been so consistent all season. That I feel if we were to lose this, that may really hurt us when it comes to the final last couple of games of the season. Ball out wide. Nice ball there. Alfonso running into space. Pass to Kane. Musiala. Back nope. to Kane, the interception. In fact, in January, perhaps there was a player who played for Bayer Leverkusen who we could have signed and, you know, weakened them. Good old buying tactics. Oh, good, good chance here. Oh, he should have shot there. I'm going to slide <laughs> in. Predicted that. Here comes Kane. Nope. That's a nice tackle. He should have had a better first touch there. Hey, Vada on the left-hand side. What a signing this guy's been. How's he got more goals than Kane? That's unbelievable. That is something incredible to achieve. Ball out wide there. Kay Vada. Now back in the box. Musiala. Blocked by the defender. Ball out wide. Kay Vada. Nice header. Beautiful play here. Opening things up. Should be a goal. Musiala taps nope. it in. Another Block. Unbelievable. We keep the ball. Come on, this goal has to come at some point. Okay, beautiful passing. Out wide. Kevada can work the angle. It's offside. Come on, man. Ball out your box. They go hit one. Nice block. Both sides defending very well. Getting big blocks in. Approaching half time. Kane in behind. Oh, again, they're deep. Okay, he's absolutely destroyed them there. Kevada back post. Whipped in. Oh, the fuck? He almost hit the bar. Are you kidding me, man? That would have been a goal before half time. So far, this game is really living up to the hype, isn't it? And they start things. Oh, they was beaten. Alfonso there could make the pass back out. They'll one two. We've defended so well so far. We want to continue it. Our structure's been good. Oh, long shot. Poor stuff there. That is our positioning being solid at the back that they couldn't go anywhere else. That's one thing this season that we haven't noticed just yet. Mercy Al, that's fantastic. Oh, look at that over the top for Kane. One touch. And then the finish, perhaps. Oh, look at that for Kane. Yes, yes. Oh, top corner. It's Joshua Kimmich with the goal. This guy sure does know what's up. He's not just great at football. He has a great mustache, which, of course, I, I know all about. There we go. 1-0 Bayern. Kimmich with the goal. So we get the goal. They get a free kick. Richarlison. Okay. He goes to hit. Oh, wow. Woo. That was close. That was. Good job. Uh, keep out his footing, right? Because that was th th very close. Oh, another tackle. Brilliant. Goreska. Go on, capitalize. Kane. Go on. A finish. Oh, come on. Kane scores that. Uh-oh. 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 That should have been a red. That should have been a red. Harry Kane is very lucky to still be on the pitch. Ten minutes left to play. Leverkusen searching for the point. What a save. And now Kane gets his yellow card. She's not happy. And they come again, though. Leipzig. Go yeah. and get a foot in. Defense-wise, we've been incredible. Midfield, we've been good. Attack, we've been decent. Sané, what on earth was he doing there? Oh, Kimmich interception. The goal scorer, the defender, the leader, the skipper. There we go. Three points in the league. We have more space now when it comes from first to second. Now straight back to another game. And we drop points. You're kidding me. We went to all of that effort. We worked so hard to go drop points to these guys. How do you even say the name? Botcher. We are still top of the league, but by two points. The oh, we have a suspension to Kane. Okay, Tell will be the player playing. Get a 3-0 win. I've made a massive mistake. We should have rotated. We have City in two days' time. We are down a goal on our 
aggregate. They beat us 2-1 at their place. We're now in Germany, so we have the advantage. But it's fine. Everyone is full fit. And even the players on the bench are as well. Okay, that worked fine. But we're possibly playing here. The best team in the world. They won the Champions League two seasons ago. Maybe last season. Leroy Zane versus his former club. Players like Erling Haaland, Kevin De Bruyne. Big players for City. We need to step up here and buck our place in the Champions League quarterfinal. Oh, well, Leon Rodrigo on the right-hand side. Oh, no, he's just smoked Alfonso. Oh, come on. Just get the ball. You'd kind of get in half tackles. There we go. He gets the ball. Kevada on the ball now. Harry Kane, Kevada. Two players who are very good, but he's forgot how to pass the ball. That's great. That's not what we want in this one. Here's Haaland. Rodrigo out wide. Look at Haaland's run there. We need to block it. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not the star we wanted. They're two goals ahead now in aggregate. Bernardo Silva. That is sloppy defense. Hey, Vada. Okay, nice stuff. He's gone from not being able to pass to this dribble. Look at this. Unbelievable. Cavada to Skillia for the goal. Oh, he squandered it. He's missed it. What was that? Musiala. Kane spins this man. That's a goal back. Come on. We are definitely in this. There we go. Harry Kane does not miss big opportunities like that. We're celebrating. That's one thing we shouldn't be doing because we're still a goal behind. Level in the fix yet. That assist was incredible from Musiala. I'm pretty sure it was him. Astonishing touch and the pass. And that finish from Kane was elite. Is Rodrigo. Ball in the box. Oh, there's no way. Bernardo Silva has scored that. That's spectacular. Look at that. The ball rifled in. He's basically on the edge of the... Okay, the goalkeeper's a massive fraud. What's he doing? He should be saving that. We have a top-notch fraud in our club, and he's in goal. Unbelievable. Who's Musiala? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Right before the break. Don't blow it, Raph. Here we go. Harry Kane. Harry Kane. Yeah, obviously. What a goal. That's a goal, but we're celebrating again. It's 2-2 two -two in game. 4-3 in aggregate. We are not... Finish. We have work to do. Kane has a hat trick to achieve, and we have a quarter final to buck our place in. Kane. Oh, I'd say that's a good tackle. It is a good tackle. Fantastic. Here comes Fring Pong on the ball. Kane making the run. Ball play through to Kane. Just smash it. Harry Kane, the save by the keeper. This second half is absolutely massive. At your box there. Musiala has done this already. Blazes it over the bar. I'm not very happy. Oh, oh he should be doing better than that, Alan. Look at this passing. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Man City. Oh, how many? 105, is it? 105. 105! Charges against this fraudulent club. Oh, what a tackle. Good stuff. Nice pass there to Kane. It's, it's not over. I said it would be. We've got 20 minutes to get two goals. Extra time. Can definitely save us. Harry Kane through. Musiala. That's the goal. Oh, come on. Fraud. Big fraud. Look at this, Kane. Oh, look at that running behind there. Goretzka, good stuff. This should be a goal back. Leon, Goretzka, there we go. It's still alive. Seven minutes, we need this goal. Leon Goretzka. Why is it never simple on this channel in second legs a knockout Champions League games? I just don't know why. But one thing I know is we also always do it, don't we? Harry Kane. Come on, there's a gap there. Oh, Cavada with the run. Yes, 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 we did it! I don't believe it! How do we always do it? It's never simple, but we always do it. It's still not finished. It's a 10-goal thriller against 105 Charges FC. Every supporter in their family, no one else but them supports them. But, you know, let them get on with it. They have battled, we've battled, and it's 5-5. Five, five. Oh, here they come. Referee, blow it. Just blow it, please. Please, referee. Send us to extra time, why don't you? Oh, oh no, Bernardo. Haaland. Another shot. Haaland. Oh, just get it gone. No, blow it. Oh, please, just end it. Oh, they've passed us the ball. Look at this. Harry Kane. Can he beat the defender? Oh, look at this. Harry Kane. Man City. Big bottle jobs. How on earth have they bottled this? It's 6-5. Shut up, sharp. 
park the bus, Jose Mourinho said at the building, and give us just under half an hour, and we will be in a quarterfinal. Harry Kane, probably a hat trick. Zane on the ball. Zane is going to win it. Zane is going to confirm it. Zane is going to book that ticket to the quarterfinal. Smashing it in. Top right hand corner. 7 5 in aggregate. Game over. Quarterfinal. Here we come. Astonishing goal. The precision is elite. He has absolutely blighted it in, top of the net, and I'm going absolutely mad. Yes, he did score a hat trick. How many goals did he get? Four attempts, three goals. This kit, by the way, is really nice. It is like the 2015 one, isn't it? We are waiting for other games to be played, so we don't yet know who we have in the quarterfinal, but we do know we're there. 7 5 and aggregate. I don't know what it is on this channel with knockout rounds, but it just. It, can we just get a simple game sometime, please? But from one tough fixture to the other, we now have Leipzig in the Bundesliga. We need to keep these points coming in to stay top. And after this fixture, we also have have Dortmund so the classic out this should be one now oh the coolness the calmness the composure Leroy Zane makes it one nil by it there we go we get the three points with just the one goal the quarterfinal draw is in and we're playing Liverpool oh wow the, the side we're doing another series with on the main channel by the way we have some big sides in this of course it's the Champions League but no Real which I'm pleased to see we're not actually top of the league Leverkusen are doing a very very good job in this title race they are not dropping points. We're second, but if we win our next game, we go back to top, and then we'll have eight games left to play. But guys, we have the Classica. It is Dortmund at home, so it's going to be very difficult to go top. All this win next episode, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, turn the bell on. Want to see that Liverpool crew man I'm talking about? Click this video here. Bayern Munich hired me as their new manager with the goal to win them the Champions League. And when they hired me, they gave me this two-year contract. And in the second season, we have to win the Champions League as I'm sacked. So far in this series, we've signed massive players like Frank Pong from Leverkusen, Kevanity Skillet from Napoli, and Art Black from Atletico. And this is our very last episode of this series. We either win the Champions League or we don't, and we get fired. And this is the side we have built. It is amazing. Goalkeeper, wild class, defense great, midfield fantastic, and the attack is elite. Harry Kane, best player in the world right now. Zane and Kevanity on the left. In fact, in 32 appearances, Harry Kane had 25 goals and in 35, Kevara has 22. Last episode, we had Manchester City in the round of 16 and they beat us 2-1 at the Etihad in the first leg. Then in the second, they kicked it off by going a goal up. We brought it back. They went ahead again. We saw goal after goal after goal in that game and in extra time, we won 7-5 on aggregate. And the side we have in the quarterfinal is Liverpool. They're currently fourth place in the Premier League. They are five points off top of the league. We could say they're in a title race with 10 games left to play. But how's it looking in the Bundesliga for us? Well, we're second in the league and we have a game in hand on Leverkusen. If we win it, we go two points ahead of them. But the game that we have to win is in the Classic. Dortmund versus Bayern. Who's going to come out on top? By the end, will we be top of the league? That's the question. If we're not, I fear that we won't be able to win the league because Leverkusen are so consistent. They don't drop points. This is a good run from Kevada. He's working the angle. He shoots. What a save. We go short here to Leroy Zane. Couple of step overs. Back post. We whip it in. Nope. Oh, big, big header away there. We keep up the pressure. What a pass there to Kane. He's held it up well. Through the gap. Harry Kane. What a save. He's Malin now for Dortmund. Sabitzer out wide. Oh, but good build up play. The finish. It's one now. We trail to Dortmund. It's Karim Adiemi with the goal. One nil Dortmund. Poor, poor defense there. We need to close him down and keep Keeper near post, really? Right, Kevada out wide. Give this guy the ball. He's done well so far. Slips that to Harry Kane. Harry Kane for the equaliser. Oh, wow. He normally scores that. This keeper is having a very good game. I'm just going to smash this one into the box. He really has done that, hasn't it? Cleared away. And it goes to them. Okay, we win the ball. Is Goretzka. Still Goretzka. Gets it out wide there. How's your touch? It's good. Pass Musiala. Back out wide. Is he onside? Is he? Now looking for Kane. Kane. Oh, the block. 
Oh, man. We cannot be dropping points here to Dortmund. K Valor on the ball. Kane's in the box. Back post. Keep us on it. Go on. Take it down. Oh, they're, they're, they're defending really well here. Alfonso. Oh, look at this space here. Now looking for Kane. Now we find Kane. What a tackle. We're putting so much pressure here on Dortmund. When is this goal going to come? Kane back post. Ball whipped in. Kane header. Kane. Goal. Bayern make it level. 1-1. One, one. Who else to score but the Englishman? Fantastic header. In fact, that was straight at the keeper. What on earth was he doing? He really, really should have saved that. That is just so bad. No, 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 no! Dortmund lead! It's 2-1! They are really showing up. We played them last episode and beat them by four. And now they're winning. We need to go back to basics. They've been knocking on the door all game. We've only got one. We've had so many good chances. Their keepers made good saves. We've missed good chances as well. It's Musiala on the ball. Had to run there. Goreska. Ball out wide for Zane. Now for Greska. Nice touch. Go look for Masiala. The block rebound wasn't there. We're approaching added time. I don't think this is going to be it for us, guys. We've put everything at it. Dortmund have been the better side. They've been more organized at the back. They've been better going forward. They've had the two goals. It ends 2-1. Zero points for us. And that is now us in third place. One point behind top Leverkusen. Unbelievable. But from now on, we cannot drop any points. We have Freiburg. No, it's Stuttgart. Away. 2-1. Just about winning. Came with the brace. Now we face Freiburg. And we're going to have to fully rotate here. Or at, rotate as much as we can. First leg. Quarter final up next. How we get a 3-0 win? Till man with a goal. Goreska. Tillman with a brace. First leg of the quarter final. Right. First leg is a 0-0 draw. Wow. Okay. A goalless affair here. It's all down to the second leg. Massive game in the league versus Freiburg. I'm going to have to rotate again. Champions League is more important. And we get a 3-0 win. Goretzka, Tillman again. And Goretzka, who is this Tillman? Is he working in a shop or something? Is this Cam? 77 overall. Has some really good stats and is stepping up, I tell you that. So it's all down to this second leg to get to the semi-final. The side we're putting out looks like this. Why is Davies' sharpness so low? What's going on there? Oh, look. Liverpool are wearing the new kit mod. Of course, we're doing a series with them on the main channel, if you're not aware. Oh, this is at Anfield. That is the bad thing. I thought we're at home for the second leg. That is going to be one massive advantage for Liverpool. We know what this place is like, especially in a second leg of the Champions League. Oh, look at this. McAllister on the ball. Mo Salah back out. McAllister. We need to get a foot in sometime, guys. Oh, no, no. What a block. Is Leroy Zane coming forward. K making the run. We opt to go to Kevada. Options in the box. Harry Kane arriving. Back post Marciala. He's going to go all the way though. Nice save. This second half is massive. And we're down to 10 men. A semi-final. Will it come? Will it not? We have a massive disadvantage here. Liverpool don't just have 11. They have 12 men. They're at Anfield. We know they do. Alfonso. This is a nice run though. Look at this. Look at this. Alfonso Davies. Oh, what a goal. Oh, he's missed it. Unbelievable. React to that one on your YouTube channel. Explain how you missed that. It's Kevada. Oh, that's a run that. Musiala. Okay. Now it's found Kane. There he is. Harry Kane. Can he get the goal? Yes, he's not missing. Oh, we're down to 10 men. And we go ahead. Harry Kane at Anfield. Astonishing. It's amazing. It's elite. It's world class. He is Harry Kane. It's 1-0 Bayern. Okay, we're going at them now. That's what we needed. We needed to go down to 10 men, apparently. Musiala. Past his player. Here he is. Looking for Kane. Oh, what a block there. Go on, win that header there. Good stuff. The overlapping run. Fring Pong. I'm just going to shoot. Fring Pong. What a save. Alexis McAllister. Mo Salah. And that's the equalizer. Liverpool back in it. And of course it's Salah to score. That didn't take them long, did it? Look at that. It's just dreadful defense. He's just about on side. Here's Harry Kane. That's a run there, Musiala. Can he beat Verge? That's the question. Oh, he can. Musiala. Oh, yes. What a goal. 13 minutes to play. Park the bus. Let's shut up sharp. We shut the cop up with that one. What a goal. Musiala tucking it home. It's 2-1 Bayern. Oh, imagine a third goal. Imagine it. They've completely put everyone up front. They're so open at the back. Six minutes to play. They can't stop him. K to chip the keeper. He's hit the bar. He's hit the bar. You guys are going to go absolutely mad at me for chipping that. And now here they come with Salah. 
That could have been it. That is really not the place to chip. Just put it in the corner. Diogo Jada coming forward. Plays it up over the top. We win the ball. Come on. Come on. Keep possession. Keep possession. They've got men forward. Perhaps now is the chance we get that third goal. Musiala on the ball. He's going to find Kane. Kane gets his goal. It's 3-1 by Munich. Semi-final, here we come. We are triumphant at Liverpool at Anfield. I'm getting involved amongst the celebrations. What a fraud. Semi-final draw is in. And how many times do we get this draw? PSG is the side. Leverkusen bars to the other. And I would not be surprised if it was an all-German affair in the final. Leverkusen by Munich. With five games left to play in the Bundesliga, one point separates us and Leverkusen. They have the one point lead. Don't know if they're ever going to drop points. Mainz is the next fixture. We have a few tired players, but here we come. It's a 3-0 win. Harry Kane with a hat-trick. Hat-trick hero. He is top goal scorer now. He really has taken off from Cavada. 33 goals, 7 assists. Wouldn't be surprised if he made 40. Two days rest and then PSG first leg. Oh, Leon Goreska. He is one tired player. We'll bring in Sal. It's a rotation squad here. You know, we cannot drop any points and it's a 2-0 win. Tillman stepping up again and Gnabry. When are we ever going to have the first leg where we just win 3-0 and then the second leg is easy? Goretzka, I don't know how long he's suspended for but he can't play the first leg. Come on, please don't lose. It's a 1-0 win. Musiala with a goal but again, it's not 3-0. It, it's basically 0-0. Back to the league and Leverkusen are unstoppable. They just keep winning and we get a 3-1 win. Davies with a red card. Goretzka, Ken and Zane. Get this out, by the way. 24 goals in 29 matches for Kane. He is absolutely tearing up the Bundesliga. IRL in Season 1 and in Season 2. We're still trailing. Two games left to play. Leverkusen one point ahead of us. And in the semi-final, Leverkusen are in the final. They've beat Barcelona 3-2 in aggregate. We have a 1-0 lead over Paris. And in this second leg, we now need to get the job done. Leverkusen are on the road to getting the treble, by the way. The Bundesliga. They're in a cup final and now they're in a Champions League final. It's absolutely haunting me. Oh, mistake there. Kane. Ooh, I wouldn't mind an early red card. Referee plays advantage. I don't think it was even a foul. Oh, he's De Jong. Mbappe, what a block. I want solid, solid defense this game. Here's Musiala on the ball. Okay, Vada. Oh, could go back out there for Musiala. What a chance here for Kevada. I want a simple second leg here. It's 2-0. Do not concede. Keep scoring more. Please, can we have a simple tie? None of this winning 7-5 an aggregate business. None of that. It's 2-0. Cavada with the goal. PSG need to do something. They need to change something. They've made a, a sub. DePaul is off. They even know who's on the pitch. Let's see if that makes a difference. Musiala coming forward. Ball out there for Cavada. Back to Musiala. He is on side. Can he finish it? Oh, he's bottled it. Why on earth did I go near post? Gretzka. Ball out wide there for Zane. Kane. Back post. Whipped in. Harry Kane 3-0. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, he's so clinical, but he doesn't score. Look at this run from Goreska. Number four. I mean, why is he jogging? Like, why? Now he's running. Great. Well, you're about to concede. Oh, over the bar. Around seven minutes left. PSG really need to get scoring now. If they have any chance. What a save. It's over. They, they can't score. Oh, well, they've, they've got Donnarumma in the box. I don't think that's going to change a whole lot. Go on, keeper. Okay, here's a goal. We need to get this right now. Throws that to Musiala. How on earth? How on earth have they done that? What a save. Okay, it's back in the box. A third goal will come. I will be furious if we do not get a goal from this. There we go. Zane, keep running. We're going to score. This is brilliant. Now Kane is onside. Fantastic stuff. Harry Kane is going to score. Skill move. Ah, there we go. He's ran into the post. It's 3-0. Cue the silly music. Champions League final. Here we come. I tell you what. He's so good at finishing. Check out that finishing. R really placed it, didn't he? So it's an all-German tie for the Champions League. Bayer Leverkusen versus Bayern Munich. What a game that is going to be. Second to last game in the Bundesliga. The fight continues. Munching Gladbach. It's a 3-3 draw. I do not believe it. That could be the title gone. 
3-3 draw. Are you kidding me? We now trail Leverkusen by three points. And they never drop points. It comes down to the last game. If they lose and we win, we win the title. But we're needing a miracle here. So before this game, I bring Kane to my office. And I say, Kane, we have to win this game. Winning the title isn't all in our hands. Leverkusen have to lose. But we have to win. And you're the man to get us that victory. With all them goals, Harry, please step up. And he responds saying, boss, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm feeling this one. We can do our best. We need to win. And hopefully results go our way in the Leipzig game. He's at 36 goals here. Eight assists. I mean, I I'm expecting a hat trick. He's going to be up for this one. Let's get him to 40 goals. Augsburg is the side that we play away from home. We're in the third black strip. I'm very confident that we'll win this, but please, 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 Leverkusen, do not win. Okay, early on. Oh, no, 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 no. We're bottling it, but we were in yellow. Do we play in yellow and black? That is the question. Oh, tackle there, Kimmich. Now he plays that to Kane. Harry Kane's not missing that. Boom, fires it in. Go get the ball. We need a goal. A goal that will get us ahead. The captain plays the ball there. One touch, then the finish. Beautiful. Here we come again. Musiala. Kane making the run. Ball over the top. Harry Kane. One bounce. Oh, the diving header. It's 2-1. Now we celebrate. Harry Kane fires Bayern. Level and then ahead. And the goal was with his head. It was astounding. Oh, nice pass there. Goretzka over the top for Kane. Takes it down. Oh, it's unbelievable. He's, he's got a magnet in him. That lets that ball just stick to him. Have you ever seen a goal like that? The touch was amazing. It went through him as well. And the finish was elite. 90th minute. If we concede now, we've still won the match. What a tackle. Oh, come on. Just get the ball away. Mm, oh, what a save. What a save. Come on. Let's end this strong. We needed to concede that goal at the start to have a kick. Oh, another big save. Keeper's done a lot this game. And that's it. It's over. Have we won the league? What has happened? Harry Kane hat-trick. Seven attempts, three goals. Have we won the league? That's the question. It doesn't look like we have. They're walking off the pitch. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Wait a minute. I just skipped it. They won the league. There's no way. Why were they walking off and then they did the ceremony? I've missed it. What a fraud. I need to see this officially. I need to see this officially. Oh, my goodness me. Bayern Munich literally own this division. That is unbelievable. They are Leverkusen lose 3-2 to Hoffenheim. A five-goal thriller. And we win the league. And we don't get to see us lift it. Fuming. Player of the season. Hmm. I, I, I wonder who's going to win this thing. Come on, Bex. Who's going to win it? Oh, it's Harry Kane. Really? Why has Harry Kane won it? He's only gone and scored 39 goals so far. Well, congratulations to him. Fully deserved. 44 appearances, 39 goals, 8 assists. When we win this Champions League final, he'll have 41, 42 by the end. I guarantee he scores. So it's now an effort. I will either keep my job if I win this or I'm out of here and they sack me because the contract is the contract. And yes, I've stepped up for this game. We've got the tuxedo on. What score will this be at the end? This is a big chance here for Cavara Tisquilia. Oh, what a save. That could have been 1-0 right there. Oh, no. Oh, don't make a mistake. Here's Luckman. Nope. Oh, what a tackle there. The crowd is so much louder in these finals. Kevara again coming down the left. It's been an end-to-end -end game so far. Another opportunity, same as the first. And the result, the outcome, is the same as the first. Costa with the save. Corner, Kimmich whipped in. Header one. Oh, we just needed to keep that lower, and that would be in. Kim and Jay, fantastic opportunity. Too much height and power. That's another run, Cavada. Is he finally going to score this opportunity? Let's go with his left foot this time. The same outcome. This goalkeeper's having a mad one. Zane. Oh, nice pass there to Kane. Beautiful touch. Now look at this. Oh, chip the keeper. He's hit the bar. It's a penalty. How on earth is it a pen? Yellow card Costa. Uh, I don't know what that movement was before he, uh, before he saved that. It's a penalty. Harry Kane. I feel he always goes left, doesn't he? Oh, wow. He's a, he's a big pen bottler, isn't he? Okay, that's a ball in behind that. There he is. He needs to make up for that. He's in behind. Big chance. Harry Kane. 
Harry Kane. Harry Kane won now. Four minutes before the break. He makes up for the pen miss. He makes it one now. Bayern Munich lead. And it's a terrific goal. It's dreadful defending. Really is. He fake shots. He finished. Comes on eight. Oh, this could be 2-0. This could be 2 0. Here he is, Harry Kane. Chips the keeper. No. Oh, the goal line clearance. No German side beats Dortmund. Oh, I, I mean, Bayern. It's 1 1. Just shut up. I've gone and spoke, and they've now scored. Teller with a goal. Oh, look at that run there by Goreska. If that ball was actually delivered to him, perhaps it would have gone in. Okay, pass shot. Blocked. Keeper. He's out of position. Oh, what a finish. He was back into position, but Musialis just really took that home. No keeper stops that. What a fantastic goal. It's 2-1 Bayern. Keeper can barely move. Unbelievable. Right, a third goal. A third goal. 15 minutes to play. Kane making the run. Kane, good touch. Kane, got away. Kane, surely the goal. Kane's going to sweat it. Martial is going again. It's 3-1 Bayern. Surely now that's a hand on the trophy. Give it 13 minutes. We'll have hands on the trophy. Fantastic assist. Fantastic goal. What a career mode this has been. We've won it, surely. There's not a chance they can score equalizers now. Oh, we've surely won this. Look at the clock. Oh, we've won it. It's official. Just don't go concede another and make the, the outcome look close. Because believe me, it wasn't. It's official. We are Champions League winners. Career mode complete. Contract fulfilled. There it is. The Champions League trophy. The main thing every professional footballer dreams of winning with his club. Joshua Kimmich from youth to senior lives the Champions League. Bayern Munich victorious in Europe. What a series it has been. If you guys have enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching the series. If you're watching the full movie, shout out to you. Want to see another full movie? Click this Liverpool one. If you're not watching the full movie, Click this video to see the Liverpool series right now.